An added load means waiting. We want you to stop waiting, so we're letting you try a new, faster internet speed to see what works for your needs. That's right, stream, game, and download without wait and without increasing your price for three months. Trust me, you'll love it. Connect on nexttech.com, the best in the internet business. Traditional TV is out, streaming is now. Next Tech TV now to be exact. Say bye-bye to cable and clunky boxes and hello to Next Tech TV now. Watch whenever and wherever in real time and on demand. Enjoy extras like replay and live TV, HD and DVR all included free, plus over 100 great channel choices. Get Next Tech TV now and a $200 credit when you switch. Connect on nexttech.com, the best in the streaming business. At New Age Industrial, we take great pride in our aluminum products by designing and manufacturing cutting-edge equipment for a variety of industries while maintaining the highest level of customer service. We're a global aluminum extruder and fabricator and one of the area's largest employers. Not only do we take great pride in our products, but we're also proud supporters of the area students and athletes. We'll be cheering them on all season long. To learn more, visit us online at newageindustrial.com. No matter who you are, the Hayes Rec Commission is for you. There's leisure programs for all ages. There's a wellness center that works for anyone at any level. Youth and adult sports, aquatics, and great facilities for any event. Go to HayesRec.org to see the list of activities and sign up. Here are some of the upcoming activities. We're still having fun. Hayes Rec's the one. We are. A special thanks to the Joaquini Game Time Boosters, Sheer Designs, Joaquini Animal Hospital, and Earl Liquor Store. Wishing all Trigo Golden Eagles a successful season, both on and off the field. TJ's Alignment and Repair, Trigo Recreation Commission, and Pit Road Liquor. Let's go gold. Go fight win from professional fire equipment. Longtime full season booster of Next Tech Game Time. They're rooting for all area schools to have a great year. You visualize the winning opportunity. You're ready to outperform the competition. And you know doing it alone is impossible. Ready to win? Let's talk business. Natural gas is a safe, efficient fuel for your home. Natural gas is odorized for your safety. That distinct rotten egg smell could be a sign that you have a gas leak. If you have a compromised sense of smell, consider purchasing a methane detector for your home. If you suspect a leak, do not operate light switches, use phones, garage openers, or anything that could cause a spark. Get everyone out of the building immediately and call Midwest Energy. A safety message from Midwest Energy, a customer-owned cooperative making energy work for you. Here at Mapes & Miller, we take care of your finances, allowing you time to take care of your business, farm, and personal lives. We offer financial services, including tax prep, bookkeeping, payroll, and auditing. We offer services to farmers, ranchers, small businesses, and more. By coming to us, you will be able to spend more time at your business and with your family. It's not what you make, it's what you keep. Next Tech Advertising Solutions is a broadband-driven marketing agency that provides customized solutions to fit the specific needs of each company. A team of 22 marketing experts help companies just like yours achieve their goals. Next Tech Advertising Solutions is recreating the way marketing is done in the broadband industry. From strategic marketing plans, award-winning creatives, real-time campaign metrics, and a focus on ROI with data dashboards. 
Next Tech Advertising Solutions knows broadband because they are broadband. We know that buying a home is a new and exciting moment in life. At Rogers & Associates, we can help protect one of your most important investments. Together, we'll find solutions to address your insurance coverage requirements at a competitive price. Whether it be for an unexpected wind or hailstorm, fire or theft, Rogers & Associates offers affordable coverage to protect the place you'll call home. Call us today for a free quote. A special thanks to the Hill City Game Time Boosters, Graham County Hospital, Living on a Prairie, Hill City Pharmacy, and First State Bank. They're proud supporters of the Ringneck students and athletes. Go Fight Win from Professional Fire Equipment, longtime full season booster of Next Tech Game Time. They're rooting for all area schools to have a great year. Having Next Tech means powerful fiber internet right to your home. Why is that a big deal? Because fiber means faster, more reliable internet. There's no waiting while streaming or gaming. We give you symmetrical upload and download speeds at no extra cost. And we don't cap data, which means internet without limits. Switch now, get a $100 credit and get local service from local people. Connect on nexttech.com, the best in the internet business. Those smartphones, laptops, TVs, and gaming systems all mean added load on your current internet bandwidth, and added load means waiting. We want you to stop waiting, so we're letting you try a new, faster internet speed to see what works for your needs. That's right, stream, game, and download without wait and without increasing your price for three months. Trust me, you'll love it. Connect on nexttech.com, the best in the internet business. Traditional TV is out. Streaming is now. Next Tech TV now, to be exact. Say bye-bye to cable and clunky boxes and hello to Next Tech TV now. Watch whenever and wherever in real time and on demand. Enjoy extras like replay and live TV, HD, and DVR all included free, plus over 100 great channel choices. Get Next Tech TV now and a $200 credit when you switch. Connect on nexttech.com, the best in the streaming business. At New Age Industrial, we take great pride in our aluminum products by designing and manufacturing cutting edge equipment for a variety of industries while maintaining the highest level of customer service. We're a global aluminum extruder and fabricator and one of the area's largest employers. Not only do we take great pride in our products, but we're also proud supporters of the area students and athletes. We'll be cheering them on all season long. To learn more, visit us online at newageindustrial.com. No matter who you are, the Hayes Rec Commission is for you. There's leisure programs for all ages. There's a wellness center that works for anyone at any level. Youth and adult sports, aquatics, and great facilities for any event. Go to HayesRec.org to see the list of activities and sign up. Here are some of the upcoming activities. We're still having fun. Hayes Rec's the one. We are. A special thanks to the Joaquini Game Time Boosters, Sheer Designs, Joaquini Animal Hospital, and Earl Liquor Store. Wishing all Trigo Golden Eagles a successful season, both on and off the field. TJ's Alignment and Repair, Trigo Recreation Commission, and Pit Road Liquor. Let's go gold. Go fight win from professional fire equipment. Longtime full season booster of Next Tech Game Time. They're rooting for all area schools to have a great year. You visualize the winning opportunity. You're ready to outperform the competition. And you know doing it alone is impossible. Ready to win? Let's talk business.
Natural gas is a safe, efficient fuel for your home. Natural gas is odorized for your safety. That distinct rotten egg smell could be a sign that you have a gas leak. If you have a compromised sense of smell, consider purchasing a methane detector for your home. If you suspect a leak, do not operate light switches, use phones, garage openers, or anything that could cause a spark. Get everyone out of the building immediately and call Midwest Energy. A safety message from Midwest Energy, a customer-owned cooperative making energy work for you. Here at Mapes & Miller, we take care of your finances, allowing you time to take care of your business, farm, and personal lives. We offer financial services, including tax prep, bookkeeping, payroll, and auditing. We offer services to farmers, ranchers, small businesses, and more. By coming to us, you will be able to spend more time at your business and with your families. It's not what you make, it's what you keep. Next Tech Advertising Solutions is a broadband-driven marketing agency that provides customized solutions to fit the specific needs of each company. A team of 22 marketing experts help companies just like yours achieve their goals. Next Tech Advertising Solutions is recreating the way marketing is done in the broadband industry. From strategic marketing plans, award-winning creatives, real-time campaign metrics, and a focus on ROI with data dashboards. Next Tech Advertising Solutions knows broadband because they are broadband. We know that buying a home is a new and exciting moment in life. At Rogers & Associates, we can help protect one of your most important investments. Together, we'll find solutions to address your insurance coverage requirements at a competitive price. Whether it be for an unexpected wind or hailstorm, fire or theft, Rogers & Associates offers affordable coverage to protect the place you'll call home. Call us today for a free quote. A special thanks to the Hill City Game Time Boosters, Graham County Hospital, Living on a Prairie, Hill City Pharmacy, and First State Bank. They're proud supporters of the Ringneck students and athletes. Go Fight Win from Professional Fire Equipment, Longtime full season booster of Next Tech Game Time. They're rooting for all area schools to have a great year. Having Next Tech means powerful fiber internet right to your home. Why is that a big deal? Because fiber means faster, more reliable internet. There's no waiting while streaming or gaming. We give you symmetrical upload and download speeds at no extra cost. And we don't cap data, which means internet without limits. Switch now, get a $100 credit, and get local service from local people. Connect on nexttech.com, the best in the internet business. Those smartphones, laptops, TVs, and gaming systems all mean added load on your current internet bandwidth. An added load means waiting. We want you to stop waiting, so we're letting you try a new, faster internet speed to see what works for your needs. That's right, stream, game, and download without wait and without increasing your price for three months. Trust me, you'll love it. Connect on nexttech.com, the best in the internet business. Traditional TV is out, streaming is now. Next Tech TV now to be exact. Say bye-bye to cable and clunky boxes and hello to Next Tech TV now. Watch whenever and wherever in real time and on demand. Enjoy extras like replay and live TV, HD and DVR all included free, plus over 100 great channel choices. Get Next Tech TV now and a $200 credit when you switch. Connect on nexttech.com, the best in the streaming business. At New Age Industrial, we take great pride in our aluminum products by designing and manufacturing cutting-edge equipment for a variety of industries while maintaining the highest level of customer service. We're a global aluminum extruder and fabricator and one of the area's largest employers. Not only do we take great pride in our products, but we're also proud supporters of the area's students and athletes. We'll be cheering them on all season long. To learn more, visit us online at newageindustrial.com. No matter who you are, the Hayes Rec Commission is for you. There's leisure programs for all ages. There's a wellness center that works for anyone at any level. Youth and adult sports, aquatics, and great facilities for any event. Go to HayesRec.org to see the list of activities and sign up. Here are some of the upcoming activities. We're still having fun, Hayes 
A special thanks to the Waukini Game Time Boosters, Sheer Designs, Waukini Animal Hospital, and Earl Liquor Store. Wishing all, all Trigo Golden Eagles a successful season, both on and off the field. TJ's Alignment and Repair, Trigo Recreation Commission, and Pit Road Liquor. Let's go gold. Go fight win from professional fire equipment. Longtime full season booster of Next Tech Game Time. They're rooting for all area schools to have a great year. Good evening and welcome everybody to another Friday night of high school football here on Next Tech Game Time. Our Game Time Tonight pregame show is brought to you by Midwest Energy. We're coming to you live tonight from Hill City for a Game Time Game of the Week featuring the Hill City Ringnecks taking on the Trigo Community Golden Eagles. I'm Curtis Brown. I'm here with Ivan Sanders. And Ivan, we're back in MCL country tonight uh, for another big time eight-man game. Well, we've done this game for what, the last four or five years and yeah. stuff. And, and really, honestly, it's just a great game and great atmosphere. and. You got the old ball coach from Trigo and, and uh, <laughs> Coach Davian from Hill City. Looking forward to a good game tonight. So Hill City comes in tonight. They're one and zero. They uh, had a pretty impressive Week One win yeah. against Osborne, uh, who was ranked at the time. Keeney zero and one. They had a tough tough game against Hoxie, their Week uh, Week One opponent. Um, how important is it tonight, though, to start MCL League one and zero for each of these teams? I think it's a real big thing for him, but you know, <coughs> I'm not going to lie, I think Joaquin's a little shorthanded tonight, and I think you know that as well. It'll be interesting to see how this plays out tonight. So, um, you know, Joaquin, they were, they were preseason ranked fifth. They sure. With their loss, they're out of the rankings. Hill City comes in ranked number two in eight-man division one. Uh, Longtime coach Pat Haxon's got got his uh, Golden Eagles. They got high expectations. So is Coach as Davian. Always, as always. Yep. But I think tonight, as you and I have watched uh, Hill City the last couple, two, three years. We love watching that Atkins kids play. Yep. He just reminds me of somebody else from Smith Center days, and then Am Ryan at quarterback. Yep. So, and so Hill City, you know, they put up 52 points per game last year. Just gave up 27, and they improved on those numbers in Week One. Uh, the junior quarterback and linebacker Aiden Amrine, we talked. You talked about a little. Mm -hmm. He had a big game last week. 162 yards in the air, two touchdowns. Ran for two more touchdowns. Had six tackles. Uh, the senior running back and safety Caleb Atkins. He had two touchdowns on the ground. Grabbed four balls for 122 yards receiving. Had four tackles and an interception. He's just fun to watch. He's everywhere. He really is. Uh, their linebacker Connor Dinkle led the team with, with tackles with 13. Uh, senior defensive end Trent Long had 11 tackles and a sack and. Ivan, last week, ringnecks were pretty balanced and, and pretty salty. Sure, and you know, but what we've talked about all the time, penalties, we'll have to watch tonight, because you and I always talk about they seem to get rocking, next thing you know, penalty, penalty, penalty. We'll see if that's changed. And so on the other side of the ball, uh, Trigo community, the Golden Eagles, they last year put up 47 points per game and gave up 26. <coughs> uh, came up a little short week one against Hoxie. Yeah. Uh, they gave up 361 yards on the ground. Uh, they were balanced offensively, 120 yards in the air, 161 on the ground. Uh, their senior quarterback, Owen Day, had a solid day, 162 yards throwing the ball, a touchdown. He had 58 yards also on the ground. Their senior wide receiver, Gunnar Wilson, eight grabs, 132 yards and a touchdown. Had another 103 yards in the return sure. game. You know, Ivan, they're going to have to lean on those two seniors tonight. And they're going to have to lean on them hard because there's some freshmen playing tonight, as you know. And um, I think last week, I just think it was one after another. Things kept going bad, and like quicksand, the more you moved, the more you went down. So we'll see. Yeah, we'll see how they rebound this week. Um, last year, both these teams made the playoffs, <coughs> and both of them lost to the eventual champions, Meade. Hill City beat uh, Joaquin 56-50 in a really close game, sure. wild game last year. Hill City's won six in a row in this series. Yes, they have. How do you see tonight's game playing out? Are we, are we in for number seven, or is it going to be something different tonight? 
I never had like to predict, but I think we're looking at number seven. Okay, really do. So I just think talking to coach and everything, you know, for Trigo and stuff, he's shorthanded tonight. He's got some freshmen on the field. Hey, I would love to have a shootout yep. or a, a close game, but it just doesn't look that way. You know, and, and we've got some other, including this game, other big games around the area tonight. You know, we've got Hayes High taking on Great Bend. Smith Center is going to travel to Norton. We got Ellis taking on TMP, Plainville and Russell. Osborne takes on Stockton. We got a rematch of the six-man title game between Natoma and Cunningham. What kind of catches your eye on some of those other games around the area tonight? I wish I was in Norton. <laughs> but I always like covering yeah. this game, and I wish we were there. I, that Norton Smith Center thing is just always fun. So and it's getting Plus a little. You said they were having a hamburger for you yeah, tonight. So. I did. I did. so. A little windy tonight, cold front coming in. Yeah, that may is. affect you the know, passing game. We left game. haze, it's hot, and now we get up here, and it's definitely cooler, and it's windy. It, but it's football weather. It's football so, weather. So. That's our game time tonight pregame show. That's brought to you by Midwest Energy. Next Tech Wireless is our official Snapchat partner. Fans attending tonight's game in Hill City can apply a custom filter to their snaps and support their favorite team right here from, the, from their phones. Coming up next will be the scouting report. That's... Uh, brought to you also by Midwest Energy. That's interviews with tonight's uh, head coaches. After that, we'll be ready for kickoff. So stay tuned. You're watching Gang Time on Next Tech Local 1. A special thanks to the Hill City Game Time Boosters, Graham County Hospital, Living on a Prairie, Hill City Pharmacy, and First State Bank. They're proud supporters of the Ringneck students and athletes. Go Fight Win from Professional Fire Equipment, Longtime full season booster of Next Tech Game Time. They're rooting for all area schools to have a great year. A special thanks to the Joaquini Game Time Boosters, Sheer Designs, Joaquini Animal Hospital, and Earl Liquor Store. Wishing all Trigo Golden Eagles a successful season, both on and off the field. TJ's Alignment and Repair, Trigo Recreation Commission, and Pit Road Liquor. Let's go gold. Go Fight Win from Professional Fire Equipment, longtime full season booster of Next Tech Game Time. They're rooting for all area schools to have a great year. All right, Coach, hey, uh, another year of uh, Trigo High School football. Uh, tell me a little bit about your summer, tell me how things went, and uh, what's your outlook for the season? You know, we had a, a really good summer, man. I, I was really happy and pleased with the effort that the kids gave. You know, we went to a couple camps, and and, and I thought we were participated and learned and, and did the things we were supposed to do then there, you know, and, and the weight room stuff was, was really, really good. You know, I finished it really nice. So, you know, I'm really happy with that part of it. And, and you know, coming into the season, we, we, we know we got the first two weeks where we're just going to be brutal and, and that we were at to be really prepared with a lot of young kids coming in and playing and, and the way it's worked out, we've got a lot, of, you know, a lot more young kids than we thought playing, and, and so, you know, it's been, it's a, it's a growing process right now. But, but I am excited about the season. I'm excited about the fact that I think we're going to get better every week. Awesome, that's, that's great. You know, tell me, you know, last week you had a little bit of a weather problem. We were at the Northern Valley coming home last week, and your game was still going on. Yeah. Uh, so the score wound up 64 to 22. Tell me a little bit about that game. Oh, Hoxie came in ready to play, and, and, and really the weather has nothing to do with it. You know, the delay is the delay. We both had the same delay, and, and I thought our kids were going to come out and ready to play, and I, and I, I think they were. But Hoxie jumped on us a little with did some offensive stuff we were not even kind of expecting, and, and they ran it really well. And, and Hoxie's really physical up front, and they kind of beat us up up front a little bit, and, you know, and it, and it just – it's the way it turned out. You know, I'd like to say we're going to be a lot better this week, and I think we're going to. You know, you want to grow so much between week one and two, and I think I think we had a really, really good week of practice, so I think it's going you know, I hope, hope that turns into the way it is. Awesome. How about, okay, you know, uh, how about returning guys this year? Who's going to be your quarterback, you think, and, and uh, just any kind of nucleus yeah. that you want to talk about? Yeah, Owen Day runs our offense. He's, he's, he's got a really nice arm. He's a smart kid, very, very smart kid, and runs the ball really hard. And we put him in different sets and in different places, you know, but, but he is the nucleus of what we're doing offensively, with, you know. And, but he's got a, a tremendous weapon in, in Gunnar Wilson out on the outside. Gunnar's going to, you know, he, he's not getting a lot of love that I thought he should in the preseason stuff after the season he had last year, you know, but I think, I think he's, he's going to be, you know, he's obviously people are going to have to know where he's at. And, and, you know, so both of those two are, are seniors on the, on the, 
offensive side, and they're gonna, you know, that we're gonna have to rely on them. We're gonna have to use them as much as we can. All right, you know, we've covered this game with Hill City in the last three, four, five years, probably. With you. Yeah. Um, what's your expectations uh, for Friday now with Hill City? You know, there's Amrai, the Atkins kid is yeah. very exciting. Tell me about that and what you think you're going to have to do to be successful on Friday night. Hey, man, Hill City's loaded on the top end. Uh, they, they are. They're, they're so good up top, you know, and, 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 and Aiden runs that offense and runs, you know, the, the – their defense is set up, you know, it gives you problems. You got to scheme everything versus using your regular, normal, you know, offense line movements, that kind of stuff, you know. So it's, it's, it's always a challenge, always is. And, and this year is going to be no different. They're, they're, you know, they're, they're, they're good everywhere, and they, and they're going to be, and they play hard. They always do, and they play hard against us. And, and we know going into it, it's going to be physical, and we're going to have to be more physical than we were last week if we're going to have a chance. And, and, you know, it's, it's one of those things where we talk Hill City a lot during the weight room. We talk Hill City a lot during the off season, and, and so you know I, I hope we go up ready to play, and I hope we come out and and, and actually try to be physical, and, and then we have a chance. And I, I really feel good about things then. All right, thanks, coach. All right, coach. Hey, you're one and uh, So far this year, you beat uh, Osborne last week, 58-12. How's the team? How many players you guys uh, have out this year? We got currently you got 26 guys in the team. Um, we had initially 22 players, and then uh, we had a few guys late uh, decide they wanted to participate, which is good for us because it, it boosted our numbers and gave us a little bit more depth. Um, team's looking pretty pretty good so far. We have high expectations coming off last year's um, last year's record, where we fell a little bit short than where our goal was set at. But sure. um, I feel pretty good about things. We started a little bit slow last week, um, but once we got going, I, I felt pretty good about things, and um, I like where we're at currently. Awesome. All right, let's talk a little bit about last week. Um, you and I were kind of walking in school this morning talking about it. 58 to 12, big game on paper. What's your thoughts and how'd your team do? Yeah, well, you know, playing Osborne week one, Coach Tierden's a great coach. You know, you're always going to get a, a tough a tough game. Um, they're, they're hurting on athletes as far as where they've been in the past because in the past, you know, four or five years when Osborne's had some really – spectacular athletes and, and sure. they, they still do. They've got a few good ones there, but they don't probably don't have the depth that they've had in the past. Their numbers are a little bit down. And, uh, you know, in that game, we came out really rusty. And um, I think we had some new kids settle in some new roles this year that weren't playing last year. And, and now they, they've earned the right to be in certain spots. And they were a little bit, you know, nervous. And um, Osborne jumped out quick on us um, early in the beginning. And then once we settled down, you know, I thought we played Hill City football, and we kind of rallied there and, and played a, a good two and a half quarters after a, a rough first quarter, or first half quarter, I should say, where uh, we looked really, really ugly and rusty there. Uh, but then we, we settled down, and we played a good football game until, until it ended there in the third quarter. Yeah, because you had to play on Thursday instead of Friday because of a uh, shortage on referees. Yeah, it's it's crazy playing those Thursday games because it gives you one less day to prepare for, for your opponent um, and that's always tough, like I said when you're playing a well-coached team because you know your opponent's going to be well-prepared against you so that, that gave us a little bit of, of, of nervousness heading into that, but it's also nice kind of for once being a spectator on Friday and, and getting to see you know football from a fan's perspective because we get to sit in the stands and, and go watch rival games and that was kind of neat. Alright. Okay, <clears throat> how was the summer program for you? How did your weight room turn out for you? So early on in the season, we, we expected 22 players to play, and we started that way early in the season. So of those 22 players that we had, I want to say probably 80% of them made every single day of weights. So awesome. um, we're, we're getting very good in that department. Um, our kids are, have bought into the program. They keep each other accountable. They strive to be there every single day, and they make a point of it. Um, and that's great for bonding for teams too. Like there's a lot of stuff that, you know, outsiders may not know They're like, well, it's kids just getting strong. Well, for us coaches, that's the bonding time. It gives kids confidence. It, it's, it's a lot of stuff that you can't, you can't correlate on numbers on paper and, and that stuff's valuable in the summer. And I'm really, really proud of our kids that this summer they did a great job of keeping each other accountable and, and working, pushing, so pushing themselves hard in the weight room. Awesome. Yeah. That's a good thing about it. Showing up and being a waste every day. So, all right, Friday night, you got Trio, Coach Axon down there. Is what's your expectations? Yeah, league rival. It's always a big game. I, I think you guys have probably done this this game for us for the last. I like doing this game. Yeah, the last five years or so. Uh, it's always it's always a it's always a close game because 
we play Trigo every year. They, you know, and, and these kids grow up knowing each other. And Coach Hacks and his staff are always have them really prepared. He's a, he's a, he's a good coach. He, does, he knows what he's doing. And he's got his kids working hard. And one thing that you get out of a Joaquini bunch is, is intensity. Uh, if you ever watch a Joaquini game, he's got his kids on the sideline. They kind of emulate both of their coaches. Both of the Haxton coaches are very um, emotional coaches, and, and they're excited, and they, and they get their kids going. So you know they're going to be a, a tough, um, excited bunch. They're going to be well-coached, and, and we're expecting a dogfight this week. All so right. we just got to show up and give our best. Thanks, Coach. You bet. All right, so, all right, can you not hit? Good. Welcome, everybody, to game time on Next Tech Local 1. Just set for kickoff here from Hill City. <clears throat> Hill City won the toss, and they have elected to receive tonight. Yes, they did. Yep, back deep for the Rednecks. Dayton Steven and like Caleb Atkins as well back there. For that kickoff for the Golden Eagles. <laughs> will be Owen Day. And it got the breezy up here. Yeah. It got really breezy. Yeah, yeah I think that front moved in there. Haven't it? I think it did. It got a little cooler. Yeah. I saw some people digging jackets out. So, um, yeah, we got a front coming through. We don't see any rain, but we got something. So, yep, bringing in the uh, holder already. So Yeah, the ball won't stay on the stand. <laughs> <laughs> Did you shut that? <laughs> Somebody did. So coming in. Well, they're going to oh, give it another no. shot yep. here. Oh, it in, switching no. it up. We'll get kickoff here <laughs> sooner or later. Connor Colby coming in to kick to hold that. Hey, you're going to have somebody hold these tonight. It's going to be uh, a little breezy coming straight from that north. So now we're set to kick off day three touchbacks last week. And this is a big kick into the end zone. Will be another touchback for Hill City. And away we go. Yep. <coughs> so first and 10 for Hill City at the 15 yard line. Starting lineup for the ring next at left guard. Uh, Siler Rohr, the center Noah Lee, at right guard Connor Dinkle, receiver Dayton Steven, a tight end Trent Long, quarterback for the ring next is Aiden Amrine, uh, a slot slot back Caleb Atkins, and the running back is Jaden Nuss. And this is a give to Ooh. looks like Atkins almost just almost about broke about one. one. Yeah. So seven yards, six yards on first down for Atkins. Well, I mean, he was about he's, so. He's fun to watch. <laughs> he really is. So he's about a a hand away from going. He was going all the way. So and he knew it the way he got up, but uh, he was on his way. So second and four, they go back to the huddle. Trigo has a freshman at the weak linebacker side, number yep. seven, Aaron Sampson. Middle backer, we got Owen Day, number 10. So there's a freshman next to a senior out there. Offset line for Hill City. They little confusion here. Four, three receivers. Still confusion. Now a snap goes. That's to Nuss. And Ooh. good tackle there. Day came in yep. and kind of cleaned that up. So, but gain of three, going to be on a yard short here. <coughs> kind of this replay here. Kind of spread them out yep. a little bit and, and – uh, they ran towards the off-balanced line, player. so third and one here for Hill City. Big third down, at least for momentum-wise, Ivan, for the Golden Eagles. And there's Atkins. He's got the first down and more. Yeah. Still oh. to the side. Missed some tackles. One man to beat, and you're not going to catch him. Yep. Atkins in for the score. Touchdown. 55 yards City. on the third down. You can see a lot of uh, high tackling going across the shoulder pads. You saw some arms reaching out, and you're not going to tackle that no. guy that way. No. You're just not going to yep. get it done. Yep, ran through a couple of those arm tackles, and once he got outside, Ivan, there was no catch. Yeah, speed. Yep. And just a bad angle coming over across. So the extra point. Yep, looks like 
see who we got here. Going for two, three receivers, two to the right. Now they all better shift in, four receivers. Atkins in motion, going to give to him on the sweep. Man, he's so quick. Wow. Uh, made a couple men. Uh, no, still they're feet. going to not blow the whistle. <laughs> no. They're saying no. Score. He wouldn't go down. He's Letting him play a little yep. bit. Tried to uh, get a little uh, pretty there with some motion and some movement and uh, try to direct some eyes and and uh, held him up. Six to nothing. So six to nothing our score already. First quarter, Hill City with the lead on a 56-yard touchdown run by Caleb Atkins. Yeah, he's, he's just too good. You've got to get to stay low and, and uh, no arm tackles with him. He just ran right through him. So. Ran right through him. That was a, I mean, that was a big third down for Joaquini. You know, a lot of young kids out there <coughs> for the Eagles, if they could have got the stop, it would sure. have been a lot of momentum. But uh, Well, I tell you what, uh, they got two freshmen on for, uh, on defense, and they've got two sophomores. So yeah. um, they're a little lean over there tonight. So a little lean. Yeah. So Hill City will kick this off back deep for – the ring next looks like, or for the Eagles. A little lean. Real, real when was different. the last time you were lean? <laughs> <laughs> Gunner Wilson looks like, and not that I'm saying anything, Curtis. Right. I think you're saying something. <laughs> I didn't mean that about that shirt either <laughs> earlier tonight either. So I'm sure you did. <laughs> All right, here we go. Be and curious with the way the wind is. Yep. And Ryan's set to kick off for Hill City. And it's a deep it's Kind of a knuckleball. Yep. Taken by nice Kenny Connect at the five. He gets outside up across the 15 to about the 17. Not a, not a bad nice, return. Nice open yep. open field tackle, though. So uh, nice Sunday hop, though. Yeah. Came that down like a knuckleball. And, and uh, that could have went anywhere. Yep. So that was Ashton Wynn on the return for – the Eagles, and now they set up first and 10 at the 17, 18 yard line. So it looks like I formation for the Eagles going to give to the nope, no, option. He's got a lot of room out there. <coughs> this Atkins is, Wilson. is there. Yep, Gunner yeah, Wilson. It's a foot race. It's a foot race. To the right, oh, oh ran right past him, and Gunner Wilson's in for the score. No way you would have told me that. Woo. Wow. <laughs> First play, just a, a triple option off the Can I you formation. That? that was I wide don't know if that open. was just a bad angle, but uh, I would have put money on it. Oh, man, he just outran it. So, so Gunnar Wilson on the uh, board. Uh, wow. He moved him uh, to tell me running a little bit about your summer. Tell me how things went. He, with and, receiver uh, last week. Uh, you know, we had a, a really good. Had a pretty good game last week uh, with like 160 yards receiving. Sure. But moved him to the to tailback position. Ties this game up wow. at six. So well, that's what Trigo needed, though. And he got an yep. answer. So and now Day with the run, Ooh, nice, nice tackle, tackle there by Amron. Goes low, gets the tackle on Day, and they come up short as well. So six to six, our score, just underway here in the first quarter. So a lot of action already, Ivan. That was a, that was a great run. Yep. <laughs> well, it was a good good read by the quarterback. Uh, oh Day. yeah, and I, I that foot race there that that. Yeah. Uh, not saying, you know, Atkins, we've watched him just grow yeah. up, and uh, he's just pretty quick, and, and uh, Gunner outran him. Yeah. So he got, it looks like he got to the outside and they kicked in another gear. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Slipped it in. But they're they're just off. a little a little shorthanded, so they're going to just play they their best, best players wherever they, they can, are. it looks like. So, so tonight it's going to be yep. one of those things they're going to need to, to uh, kind of keep up with those guys, hold them on defense yep. if they can <laughs> once or twice. So 6-6 six to six our score. Ready for the third kickoff ready, already here within the first five minutes of this ball game. Day set to kick off again for the Eagles. Back Give me deep, the ball. Give Dayton me the ball. Steven and Caleb Atkins. <coughs> and I cannot shake that. You got to be okay off, man. Well, you know, I've been trying to stop smoking those no filter <laughs> camels. But. Uh, uh, it's no. a hard, hard habit to break. It right? is, you know. You're, I'm a chain smoker, so <laughs> no. I just can't. Sh I, it's a dumb cough. Can't shake it. 
The day set to kick this off. Had the hold. And this one's deep. Nice kick, too. Into the end zone again. Second second kickoff return. And Hill City will get the ball first and 10 at the 15-yard line. For their second possession, first one ended with a 56-yard touchdown run by Caleb Atkins. Well, I'll be honest with you. I would do you uh, let Atkins catch that in the air. That could be a tough one. Find a slot, he could take yep. it back. So, nice kick by Day. And Ryan in that quarterback for the Ringnecks. Jaden Nuss right to his right. The lone setback, three receivers. And Amrai's just going to take this off the right side. A little quarterback draw. Ooh. He's got a lot of room off the right side. He may be gone. And Amrai down the right side in for the score. And just like that, they're going back and forth. They sealed that yep. end off, you know, and some guys fell down, but they sealed it, and away he took off. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we were talking about there what last last week in the six man game. Yeah, we, we were looking for some big plays. We didn't see any big plays last week, and well, boom, right off the bat. So far tonight, we got a track meet. Yeah. So um, just line these guys up on the track, maybe. <laughs> Yeah, now that was a really good blocking on the, was. On the right they side. They kind of sealed that yeah. end, and uh, he, he found a lane on, right there on the sideline. So just kind of like a, I mean, just a lead lead this, block. They had the running back come out in front, lead block for him. Nothing fancy this yep. time. Got to do it again. Now option yep. to Nuss out in the flat and jumps into this nice try there by the Trigo defender, but uh, Nuss able to leap over him in there for the two-point conversion. Yeah, that's just a read by, by Amrine there, you know, try to suck in the d defender and then pitch. So, so 14 to 6, our score here, just five minutes into this game, and three scores. Ivan, this is. There we go. <laughs> but then, and like you <laughs> said, this is what we thought we were going to have last week when yep. we did that six man game, which we had never done one before. Right. And that was still pretty wild, but. Um, um, We'll have to see if, if uh, Trigo can answer here. So, yeah, there uh, looks like Hill City's going to attack that right side of the sure. of the Trigo defense. Yep. Seen something on film or something like that, and yep. and uh, we'll see if Haxton can make any changes. And yep. I think he's a little light tonight. So. Well, we see, we've been here before. We've seen Amrine's got this uh, kind of a spin kick. Kind sure. Of a, yeah. Type of thing, well, so. that last one uh, looked like a knuckleball yep. going down there, so we'll see what he does here this time. No holder, though. Joaquini uses the holder. He'll say he does not, so. Look at that. Yeah. <coughs> Back deep is Gunnar Wilson and, and Wynn as well. Oh, side to slow up there on the big uh, kick into the end zone. Yep. yep. Gets in for the touchback. So, Joaquin, he's going to start there. Second possession at the 15-yard line, first and 10. Let's see what they can answer. It's been back and forth so far early in this game. Big plays. Yep. Every single one of them just yep. big plays. And, and uh, so, see what happens. Starters for the Eagles on offense, left guard, uh, Quentin Walt at center, Traxton Maley, right guard, Caden Bliss, the tight end, Graydon Dynas, <coughs> at end, Gunnar Wilson, Owen Day under center, and he's going to give another option play. And, boy, Wilson was open there on the side again. Um, just didn't read it. Yep. Stuck it in and, yep. and uh, maybe should have pulled it out. That's Trent Long here on the play of the defensive end. Does his job, takes the quarterback out. Well, Day's not under center. So, Kenner Connect was under center there. Day was kind of in a fullback situation. So, so no gain, first down. This will be second down. Yep, you're right. They got Kenner Connect under center. Day's playing fullback Wilson at the tailback position. It's a little different read, you know, for the Eagles. Maybe they think that, uh, you know, A has, a, you know, with um, Day has a little more extra size yep. and, and uh, give him an option to run. So give the Day up the middle, maybe back to the original yeah, line of scrimmage. So it's third down and 10. Brought down by number 44. And you see Hill City running with just with two, two down linemen, four linebackers. 
No gain on the play, brings up third and 10 from the 15. Now in the shotgun is Day. And looking to throw, he's got Wilson off the flat. Good throw and catch, and it's going to be down. enough for the first down. So Nice throw. Just a little Very high good. pattern for Wilson. He picks up 12 on the play, so it'll be first down. They were practicing that, you know, before the game. They were down here taking some sideline shots. Yep. Nice so follow-through motion, yep. good throw. So He did look him down, though. <laughs> there was, he <laughs> stared him down. <laughs> but uh, he knew exactly where he was going. But first down for Trigo. Well, one-on-one -on -one coverage out there. You're Gilligan on the island, yep. so. So Day out of shotgun. Kinder connected a little setback. Looking going to throw back again, there again, back to Wilson. With the oh! He cuts it inside. And able to get across the 35 to the 36-yard line. Nice job. Very nice. Yeah, took that out and cut it in. Mm -hmm. Yep. A couple more yards. So, second down and two. So. Seen a lot of different different formations here for Trigo. Well, they're trying to mix it up a little bit, you know, being a little shorthanded. So <clears throat> tonight, now two and keepers. This is, yep. Oh, and up day up the middle lowers first his head, down. gets across the forty, and he'll get the first down. Good push up front for the Golden Eagles. Day's a little pumped up tonight. Yep. That, that's <laughs> about the second or third time I've seen him hit himself on the helmet. So a little jacked up, ready to go. On defense for Hill City, Trent Long and Noah Lee, the defensive tackles. We got Roar, Amrine, Dinkle, and Nuss at the linebacking positions, Dayton Steven and Caleb Atkins at safety. So two receivers to the right of Day out of the shotgun. Looking to throw under pressure, no, and he trouble. goes down. Trouble. Yeah, Trent Long was there. Noah Lee, both defensive tackles were there for the sack. He was looking for the yep. quick release, but uh, Hill City had three guys over there. Because uh, at the last second, Amrine shifted over there, so Atkins slid back. No way you're going to slip that in over the top or even underneath. So, so second and 17 now for Joaquini. They're a little behind the sticks. 6-14 to go. First half, 14-6 to six our score. Hill City with the lead. Now split out left is the freshman, Cass Smith. Now he's in motion. And uh, yeah, somebody was in the wrong spot. Yep, going to be a timeout for Joaquin. We're going to take it with him. You're watching Game Time here on Next Tech Local 1. Summer, man. I thought I was really happy and pleased with the effort. Nextech Advertising Solutions is a broadband-driven marketing agency that provides customized solutions to fit the specific needs of each company. A team of 22 marketing experts help companies just like yours achieve their goals. Nextech Advertising Solutions is recreating the way marketing is done in the broadband industry. From strategic marketing plans, award-winning creatives, real-time campaign metrics, and a focus on ROI with data dashboards. Next Tech Advertising Solutions knows broadband because they are broadband. We know that buying a home is a new and exciting moment in life. At Rogers & Associates, we can help protect one of your most important investments. Together, we'll find solutions to address your insurance coverage requirements at a competitive price. Whether it be for an unexpected wind or hailstorm, fire or theft, Rogers & Associates offers affordable coverage to protect the place you'll call home. Call us today for a free quote. Welcome back to Next Tech Game Time. Second down and 17 for the Eagles. Day rolling out to his right. He's got his receiver oh. Wilson on the sideline. They're going to call it. Yep. They're going to say he's right in. Right in front of the bench. Yep. I've seen some toe tapping going on there. Nice pass. They got a pretty good connection there, Wilson and Day. They gets a lot of that yardage back for Trigo now. Third down and nine. <coughs> Same kind of setup. 
the twin receivers, receivers on each side differently. Day out of the shotgun now. What do we got here? Oh, maybe got a little blood or something. Yeah, we're we're in that situation this year that uh, with the knee pads and stuff over the knees. So equipment. Ticky ticky yeah, tack, yep. but uh, they're calling it. So in comes now. So the, the surprise of the play is gone. Yep. <laughs> so, nope. They're going to huddle back. Rehuddle again. Yep. See if Haxton goes with the same thing. So third down and nine. Same play. Well, maybe same yeah, formation a little, anyway. A little tape bag <coughs> on the sidelines, looks like. Boy, look at that over there <laughs> on that right-hand side. They're yeah, rolling right. He's under pressure by Long. Throws it out there. Out of bounds. Yep, good job there by Nuss on the coverage, giving Wilson that extra nudge out of bounds. It's a good throw. Yep. Just a little too high and a little out of bounds. So, yeah, but Hill City is set up, you know, especially they're, they're picking on those receivers over there. So they've got a, like a little diamond shape over there. Got it covered up back with Atkins. Trent Long also applying the pressure for the ring next will bring up fourth down to nine and Kenner Connect is back in punt formation for the Eagles. Nobody deep for Hill City. Mm. And he angles it, but not uh, not enough, and it'll be a touchback. And Hill City will have a just a tad long. Yep. <clears throat> it was a good idea, just couldn't get it. Just there. a tad long. Is that um, a situation there where you think maybe you would have went for it there, Ivan, or is it uh, when you were in? Well, here's the thing. Uh, you'll second guess it if they score right away. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to second guess any yeah. decisions you would have made. <laughs> hey, I would have done like the old gunslinger here. I might have set up <laughs> something like that and maybe snuck somebody off the line, right. you know. Um, <laughs> Because you're, yeah. you're, you'll shoot yourself here if they score right away. And this is a gift to Nuss off the right side, or Atkins off the right side, spinning. Boy, he's a he's a handful to get down. He is. He, he's fun to watch. He really is. So give him five yards on first down, second and five. By Wintholz, number three. Also on the play, number 88, Wolf. So now twins receivers to the left of Amrein. Nuss, the lone running back, give the Nuss off the left side. Good job there yeah, by uh, Quentin home. Walt. Yeah. Stayed home. Day filled the hole. So May, no yards, maybe a yard on the play. <clears throat> yeah, I think that may be how they flip. So third and four now for the ring next. Under center is Amrine. Going to look to Just throw. The Going to keep it off the right side. He's got the first down and leaps out of bounds to see where they mark him here. Just outside the 30 yard. Well, line. they're they're getting they're able to seal that right yep. hand side. They really are. If you'll watch here, they're turning it, turning them in, and uh, and just kind of yep. getting a seal right there. Yeah, it looks like, uh, yeah, Connor Dinkle, the right guard over there. Doing a great job sealing that in. So, first and 10 now for Hill City. Going to get no. Nuss off the screen. Off Trouble. The screen. He's got some room. Nuss in the open. He's going to be gone. The third long run for the ring next here in this first <laughs> half will be a, a 49 yard touchdown run. That's when you think about the punt. Yep. That's so. where you don't want to. Yeah. <laughs> I would have went for it. <laughs> that's when you think about it. Um, that's when Ooh. you think about it. Because yeah. you, you haven't been able really to stop them. So yeah. uh, yourself, you're going to have to gamble. You're, you're going to have to gamble a little bit on yourself. And yeah. and uh, you basically punted and you punted into the, into the end zone. So gave him a shot. Two-point conversion attempt here for the Hill City. A little roll out here. Trips to the right. Going to look for Atkins in the flat. And nice there toss and 
catch there for Hill City. Two-point conversion, good. Yeah, they were out there working on a freshman. So um, makes our score 22 to six here, first quarter, 422 left to go. But boy, three big plays for Hill City's offense. I see Coach Axon over there, he's talking to 88. And uh, that's Quentin Walden. He's a junior, but he's getting sealed off out there. He's just not getting wide enough out there. And, and uh, Connor Dinkle sealing that end. And, and once he turns him, you know, you got the corner. So. Well, it went right, went right, and then yeah. sweep, sweep back to the left. Yep. So three long touchdown runs for Hill City in this first quarter. Three touchdown scores. 22 to 6 is our score. Set the kickoff to Trigo Community. <coughs> we'll see how it goes. Yeah. See if we get a return. I mean, they've got some things going offensively, but. Uh, yeah, they do. I mean, they just got stopped, you know, but I can see Haxon here now. You know, he's going to have to dig in the bag a little bit here and, and, uh, yeah, so and decide. Next time, once next you, time get, you may. <laughs> once you cross over, you're, you're going to really think about it yeah. unless you got a great punter. So. And Ryan, Ryan set to tee this off for Hill City. New lights coming on. Yeah, new lights, we were told. Yep. The wind blew over one set, so they replaced them all. <laughs> Tonight's the first night. And the grass Back looks deep. great tonight. Yep. Back deep, Wilson and Win, and this Knuckle is going to go to Win at the five. Cuts up the middle, lowers his head, and <laughs> whew, took a hit there by Dinkle. He, he lowered it a little <laughs> early. Yeah, he he lowered it a little early. <laughs> He's a freshman, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Kind of gave him. He lowered it a little <laughs> early. You might want to keep your eyes up so you can see <laughs> that coming. Yeah, you can see that. Yeah, Dinkle, the 5'10", 207-pound senior, he was, he was grateful for that, uh, <laughs> that bullseye, what that was. <laughs> So first and ten now for Joaquini at the no oh, eighteen yard line. And now Amrine has to come out. Replacing him. Cameron Atkins. Looking to throw at Wilson. Out on the flag, good tackle there yeah. by Atkins. Boy, that looked like a double leg takedown. From you know, <laughs> as a former wrestler, he is. Yes. So it's one of those things. Nice double leg takedown. Didn't get fooled with it yeah. that time. Nope. Yeah, they've uh, they've run that out several times, but uh, they worked on it a lot yep. in warm up. You can see it. They worked on it a lot. So second down and eight. You're counting on that first miss. Yep. Twins receivers for day, both both directions. See how they see how they got that covered over on the right hand yeah. side. Now Dave and there's right. Amrine right Across there. Across the middle, oh, nice whoa, grab man. there by Kinder Connect. That ball was a little behind him, but uh, Nuss was coming nice in grab. to uh, give him yeah. a take a, uh, that top off shot right there. Did you see that? Yeah, he uh, hit his helmet coming yeah. down. You will see on the replay. He was uh, foaming at the mouth Ooh. there to get a shot. You usually don't you want to see throw it right. The Yep, there. <laughs> Usually don't like to throw across your body in the middle of the field, but it worked that time. Got to gamble a little bit here, and you got to gamble. So now Twins receivers to the right for day, Ooh. and we got a little movement. Either the center didn't snap it when we were supposed to, <laughs> yeah. or well, two linemen jumped. Center's just a freshman, tracks to Maley. 5'11", 213 pounds freshman. Have a little conference. Yep. Do you eat one of those hamburgers over there? No, no, no. I no, that's what they were talking about. Oh. So. They're going to go off sides here for. Wow. The ring yeah, they did. <laughs> yes, Ty goes to the runner. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> maybe I missed that. So, yeah. uh, so first and five now. For Trigo right now, they'll take anything they can yep. get. So. 2.50 to go <clears throat> here, first quarter, 22-6 to six the score. The 
Clinch receivers for there the is, Eagles. There, they are just really working that coming rollout out the right blitz, there. And, oh, <laughs> boy, that was a fastball <clears throat> coming right to Kinder Connect. They're cutting off that short yeah, pass. Yeah, and, yeah, and, and, uh, Kinder Connect, ball is incomplete. We'll bring up second and is that more of a – is it a man defense or a zone? What do they got? It's kind of a zone, I would say, because they got Amrine out there kind of taking that lane away. They got Atkins deep, so uh, – Second and five for the Eagles. We haven't seen that option play back again. Maybe so. Maybe so. Day in the shotgun. Receiver split each way. Now Day just looking to run up the middle, lowers his head, gets a couple. Yep. A good tackle there by Dinkle. I think he just kind of spined him, but uh, just a yard on the play for Dan. Yeah, just, so he just four. did his job. He stayed home and, and uh, just stayed in the center. Yep. Amrine there as well for the ring neck. So third down and four. Getting close to that midfield. You know, look at that. They've thrown over here towards the left side to Gunnar Wilson. Atkins playing inside of him. They got it again. Yep. Oh, oh just dropped it. Flag, yeah, it was, it Flag was, on that side. Yeah. Atkins playing inside That's position there. That out is available. Let's see what that is. Yep. Flag down on the far side. Good old. Looks like it's going to illegal mm. man downfield. Trigo. Haxton, yep. Haxton's over there. Is, uh, <laughs> He's one explanation. Say, what are you talking about? <laughs> Haxton in the uh, He's classic. Pretty animated. The classic shorts, mm -hmm. you know, it, whether it's 90 <laughs> degrees or if it's Well, like blowing snowing. rain four or five yeah. years ago, you know, and it was sideways and big old fat <laughs> rain. He's he's not liking the explanation. He's still on the field. Yeah, he's uh, – yeah. So fourth down and three. Let's see what they do. Did you know, the thing about it is that the receiver, when he came out, did he tell him? Did yeah. he point at him? You know how that happens? Could have been. So let's see what they do here. Maybe he wasn't Fourth on. and three. They're going to go for it. Twins receivers. See, he pointed, way. and he's on. Yep. And Day out of the shotgun looking to throw. Ooh. And knocked down there by Trent Long. The defensive end gets his hand up and knocks it down, and Hill City will take over That's on downs. That was just a good job getting your hands up. It was. Up. Kind of a spy again, what you just said. Tried to pick that throwing lane out and kind of get in the center of it, and right there. Yep. Good job there by getting your hands up, knocking that ball down. First and ten now for Hill City. So we've seen both decisions by Coach Haxton, neither of them. Hand out. Yeah. So, 154 left here, first quarter, 22 to 6 to score. I think you got that that play, I think you got to take it. Yep. I mean, you're kind of, uh, you're buying the eight ball anyway. Take a shot. Hamrine looking to keep this on the left side. And Day, that ball's on the ground, but they're going to say he's down. Um, Owen Day with the tackle. The Seven, eight five. yards for Amrine on first down. Got to have a defensive stand here. He'll see the way things are rolling for yeah. them. Four down, they'd go on it. So, um, yep, second and maybe three, two. Well, I'd look over here on this right side here. Yeah, they've had a lot of success. Now it's the wide side of the field on the right. Sealing that end. A split long out here. Way right. Atkins alone setback. Looking to throw and hit Stevens across the middle. He's got the first down across the 25-yard line, down to the 24. Nice play. Yeah. Very nice play. Designed very well to kind of <laughs> throw him off a little bit, uh, change their eye level with yep. the Chris here right there. And uh, so <clears throat> Dayton Stevens, he's kind of, he lined up as tight end, kind of replaced him in long switch, switch spots. Just an underneath cross there for the first down. Now twins receivers to the left of Amrine. Going to give the Nuss. Oh, there you go. Good job there by Walt with able to wrestle him down. down. Yep, no gain on the play. Number 
accolade by number 88, Quentin Wolf. But if he's, they've probably seen that. If he's coming in, they're going to go back outside on the right side. So second and ten. Twin receivers right now for Hill City. Nuss in the backfield with Amron. Amron looking Going to throw. Right. Has Atkins. Atkins in the flat. Boy, he makes one move, makes another move, and it's across the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Close to a close first. Yep. Close to a first Not down. To <laughs> Dodging and ducking. <laughs> yeah. So I tell you, um, make people uh, people make people miss in a phone booth. It was. <laughs> it was. He was dodging, ducking. <laughs> I mean. <clears throat> so now third and one. Timeout. And that's going to be quarter. the end of the first quarter. So, at the end of one, our score: Hill City twenty-two, Trigo six. You're watching game time here on Next Tech Local One. A special thanks to the Hill City Game Time Boosters, Graham County Hospital, Living on a Prairie, Hill City Pharmacy, and First State Bank. They're proud supporters of the Ringneck students and athletes. Go Fight Win from Professional Fire Equipment, longtime full season booster of Next Tech Game Time. They're rooting for all area schools to have a great year. Having Next Tech means powerful, fiber internet right to your home. Why is that a big deal? Because fiber means faster, more reliable internet. There's no waiting while streaming or gaming. We give you symmetrical upload and download speeds at no extra cost. And we don't cap data, which means internet without limits. Switch now, get a $100 credit and get local service from local people. Connect on nexttech.com, the best in the internet business. Welcome back to game time on Next Tech Local One. We start here in the second quarter, third and one here for Hill City at the 14 yard line. A lot and of movement on yep. the defense. This is oh, nice yeah. off the left Easy. side, a lot of room, and he's in for the score. His second score of the night. Easy peasy. Yep. I'm not sure what happened, it just all yeah. collapsed over there. Yeah, it looked like a lot of confusion here on the replay. Yeah, they a lot were of dancing. Guys moving left. And they sealed the end there again. They, right uh, there, took him out. Dinkle pulled, and boy, Nuss wasn't even touched. So Nuss in for his second score of the game. 28 to 6, our score. They're just Ooh. sealing that end on both ends yeah. right now. So, so two point conversion attempt here for Hill City. Am right in the shotgun. Nuss, the lone setback. Give to Nuss. Ooh, oh, no. Am nice. kept it. And he gets dragged down in the backfield by, by Walt again. No, no good. So, well, we got a chance here. Let's look at some of the scores around the area on our Next Tech game time scoreboard. The Thunder Ridge up big on Rock Hills, looks like. Yep. And Victoria up on lacrosse. That could be an interesting that game. That could be an interesting game. Could be a very yeah, both interesting Both teams advanced game. pretty far in the yep. playoffs. Hoxie all over Wheatland Grinnell. Yeah. I, we were talking about how Wheatland Grinnell may be down a little bit. Yes. Quinter up heard 20. That. 20 to 0 over St. Francis. Oakley and Phillipsburg tied at 13. Look at that. Sure. So. Norton up 12 0 on Smith Center. Ooh. The old gunslinger up there. Yeah. Look at the TMP on top of Ellis. Yep. And southeast of Selena Beloit. That's a big one. Goodland with the lead over Burlington as well. Russell on top of Plainville. Hayes up 20 to 0 on Great, Great Bend. Bend. Yep. Yeah, that, we kind of figured that. Dodge City and Junction City tied up at 7. Yeah, that could be a good game. Junction has to come back. Or I wonder if that was back in Junction. That would be a second trip out west for Junction. Could be. Could be. <coughs> Garden up four touchdowns on Wichita North first quarter. Ooh. That's good math on your part. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. I'm not saying anything there. Right. It's, it's, it's great math. <laughs> Very nice. Impressive. Compared to what? I mean. Well, you know, I, I know yeah. you're where you're from. And <laughs> so. Yeah, I'm right. Set the kick for Hill City back deep. Wilson and Wynn. 
And it's going to take a bounce. Wynn's going to take it at the three-yard line. See if he gets up the keeps middle. Keeps head up this yep. time. He does. Gets across the 20. Decent return there by sure. the freshman win up to the 21-yard line. Last time he kind of lowered it yep. about three yards before he should have. <coughs> so first down for Trigo and 28 to 6. Last time a turnover on downs on fourth down. Boy, they desperately need something here for. Yeah, you got to put something together here. Got to put something together. So Wilson split out left. Day in the shotgun looking to throw. Has Wilson in the, in the flat. Tried to make a move on yep. Atkins. He, he got five yep. and, and five plus. Well, and it looks like it's just a one on one situation out there. Yeah. Oh. Four yards on first down, second down, and six. And they're giving the Day some time to throw the ball. Sure. Out left is Wilson looking to option off. And Nuss is there, along with a host of other ringnecks, long. And, and trying Dinkle. to strip it. Yep. Trying to strip it as well. So not much there. No. Just not much there. A yard on the play. There wasn't much fake up the middle at all either. Um, it wasn't much. No, they closed the down yeah. pretty quickly. So, um, so third and five. Another big third down for this is a big one. Eagles. And this is a big one. Just to make, there's yep. so much momentum going to the other side. So looks like one on one coverage for Wilson and Atkins out there. He's gonna look to throw. Coming back and Ooh, flag. Yeah, that's a flag. Okay, I got there early. Just a little bit early. Got there early. That'll be a first down. Yep. And the ball was a little late coming out yeah, there. It was. Like Wilson had made the cut and yep. I think Atkins reacted, but yep, the ball he wasn't did. there. You'll see it here. He just yep. just took a little bit more time to get out there. Right there. The Trigo needed that though. Yep. They needed that. So first and ten now for the Golden Eagles. So they're across the cross midfield. Let's see if they keep working on that pass on those yep. those uh, out routes. Now, Twins receivers this way. Day's going to take the ball to the left, and he gets cut under. That's Dinkle again on the tackle. Just too much pressure yeah. on his right side. Day on the keeper. Nice read Dinkle there by the Cole Dinkle. Amron shooting in, kind of yep. forced it. So second and nine. 9.55 left to go here in the second quarter. 28 to 6 our score. Pretty important drive here for the Golden Eagles. Let's see what uh, Coach. Now just Wilson, the, the lone receiver to the right. Two backs. In dials the up here. Yep. Let's get the Kenner connect up the middle. He spins across the 35. He gets to the 35. Nope, not close. He gained about yep. two, maybe two and a half. Yep. Maybe three. And you got to have that to just to keep him honest a little bit up the middle. So second we down go. and six. Third down and six. Got to have a push up front. Yep. Under center now. This is a Kenner connect running that option. He's going to keep it up the middle just a couple yards. Good read, though. Yeah. Uh, Close down that yeah. lane pretty quick. So now fourth and Big decision three. Here. Fourth and four, maybe. <clears throat> Look on this option. Haxon's going for yep. broke here. Number 18, Trent Long. Also on the play, number 56, North Punt. Lee. Tough to drop it down in there yeah, somewhere, no you way. know. Yeah, be tough to drop it in. 
I definitely would change my cadence, you know, maybe go two, maybe go three. Yep. So Wilson, the lone receiver, looks like they got a little bracket out there. And oh. he's going to run the option to Kinder connect out the left side, and he's got it the first down. Nice play. A lot of attention paid to the right side of where Wilson was lined up and the option to the left side. Good they, they did a great job there getting that defense yeah. guy to bite right yeah. there. Yep, just right right at the end. And uh, Cameron Atkins had to, had to choose there one or the other. So first and ten for the Golden Eagles at the 26-yard line. Big fourth down pickup for Trigo. Yeah, they needed that pretty badly. Nice drive. Now receiver split left is Wilson. Day out of the shotgun. Ooh, too to much Kenner penetration. <laughs> I tell you what. Yeah, that was Dinkle there. Sea of red. Yeah. <laughs> also, Lee was there. Sea of red. Long was there. <laughs> they were all there. I think everybody was there. Yeah. yeah. By the ring next. Dinkle number 44 in on the play along with it's a loss of four. Brent That's a big loss 18. on first down, second down and 14. Also, Noah Lee, number 56. Good tackling by the ring next. Loss of four brings up second and 14. So they're taking, looks like they're taking their time here. Out of yeah, the they are. And, and, and really, honestly, that's a good thing. Receiver split each way for Day. Now under pressure. Going oh, to Atkins. Yep. He's going to play center field and comes up with the catch. He's coming Makes out. Move. Yeah, he's going to come out on the left side. He's got a lot of room. Atkins with a full head of steam. Oh. Oh. All the way. End zone. 80-yard interception return for a touchdown. Wow. We had a little bit yeah. of stuff going on back here yeah. with Amrine and Day and Long. who's 18? Long. Yeah, there was – I don't know if we can get a replay there. Day's still talking. Watch over here. Watch over here. Something comes across where 10 is. Look at the top of the screen. Yeah. <laughs> He's just dangerous in the open field, though. He was – you knew. He turned around. There wasn't anybody. Well, back. he started at the sideline and darted back towards the middle. And uh, and Amrine and uh, who would you say 18 was? Long? Yep. They just took out uh, Day. They just took him out. So an 80-yard interception <laughs> return for a touchdown. Another big play for Hill City. 34 to 6. Is Hill City's going to take a timeout here on the two-point conversion. But, Ivan, I mean, it's just. <laughs> That's a dagger. <clears throat> yeah, they were finally putting something together. And you knew when he caught it and when yeah. he spun, he was going to bring it out. So, yeah. yeah, just trying to hit hit a home run there. Joe he did. Wilson. Yeah. Out of the ballpark. <laughs> the other way, though. <laughs> Out of the ballpark. But you know what? He's just capable of doing that. Yeah. We've watched him, you know, as a freshman come through here. Uh, he's capable of doing that. So, speed. Yep. It can kill. Yeah, especially in an eight-man football game. When you have enough room like that to, to operate, it's. Now, did you ever have any speed no, there, Curtis? Zero. Uh, Zero. Zero speed, huh? <laughs> kind of like a bus. Yeah. Bulldozer. Tank. The tank. There you go. Yep. One speed crawler, huh? <laughs> yeah. Well, must be so, doing something fancy here. 34-6 to six our score. 6.22 left to go in this first half. Pending this two-point conversion. Coming out and Atkins too, is yeah. not on the field. There's another Atkins. Yeah, but not Cam, uh, 22. Yeah. Nope. So Twins receivers to the right. Now they Little motion. Little shift. And motion again. And Amron's going to keep it off the right side. Lowers his head, and he's in for the two-point conversion. A lot of movement out there. but Yeah, uh, that's just the, the shift the defensive yeah. eyes and make them, you know, think what's going on. Maybe get somebody to jump. So, uh, yeah. Now they're have a little discussion here after the uh, touchdown score. Yeah, they're so. probably talking to him about uh, what was going on with Day down in yep. the middle of the field. But a little bit it. of taunting maybe, a little bit of that. So, 36-6 to six the score, 6.22 left in this first half, and 
and Hill City is now well in control of this ball game. Uh, you know, every every time where you know Trigo is looking to grab a little bit of momentum, it's uh, it's backfired on him. Yeah, it does. You know, and it's you could see that play develop, that interception yep. in front of us. You know, it was, it was a nice long pass, but the receiver just was uh, not on the same channel as yep. the quarterback there day and. And um, Atkins played center field. Yep. So, so an eight man, uh, some of you know, most of you know, maybe 45 points at halftime or after was, is the ball game. So right now we're sitting at 30 um, for Hill City. So if one team's up by 45 or more. There you are again, over. showing off those math skills. Well. When it's thirty-six to six, it's pretty easy to, to subtract. But <laughs> yeah, you're just showing off again. Just, yeah. just showing off. Van Ryan set to tee this off. Back deep again is Wilson and Win for the Golden Eagles. So they bunch in tight here for Hill City, and it's kind of spread out when they kick. Big kick over his head and into the end zone. I think the wind's blowing a little northeast to southwest. Yeah, you know, and I think it's kind of, if you look at the trees, there's the flags out there. They're still, yeah, you know. So that's just a little razzle-dazzle out there to get them to think again. We're going to maybe do an on or something like that. So, so first and 10 <coughs> for Joaquini here at the 15-yard line. Well, they had a little bit of momentum last drive. It just uh, um, it, it went right out the window. Yeah, yeah whenever you go 80 yards on an interception return. But he's just, you know, that, that kid's uh, just capable of doing that. So And he's he's lined up with Wilson. This is a one-on-one. -on -one. I mean, wherever Wilson goes, there's Atkins. In motion now, going to give to the running back. That is Smith, it looks like, with the carry. Give him three yards. Cass Smith, just a another freshman, young young player for Trigo. Yeah, and uh, coach had said he's going to have some freshmen playing. He's just he's about two or three, four guys short. So uh, with some things going on, and and uh, um, so he's going to have to put some guys on the field and maybe not be ready to go yet. So second and seven for Trigo. Day in at the quarterback. Trips out yep. there. Trips receivers to the left. Wilson split to the right over here. And it gets Smith in the uh, flat, but uh, good coverage out there. That's Amrine on the tackle along with uh, Dalton or Dayton Steven as well. Couple yards, that's it. Couple. That's yep. It was completed. I was kind of worried about it a little bit. Steven, number two, yeah. along with Amrine, number seven. A lot of traffic in that area. So third and four. Five See what the dial up here. <clears throat> Five minutes ago here, first half, 36 to six, our score. Freshman in the backfield with Day. Day looking to throw. Nice. And boy, he gunned that right in between two defenders, and there's a flag. flag Ooh, there was a little bit of an extra shot there. And Wilson looks like he's still down. Oh, that's not Wilson. That is uh, Kenner Connect. Kind of uh, drove him down into the ground. Well, it's going to be close to a first down, but, yeah, you're waiting this, this penalty. A little extra activity. Yeah, dead ball. Personal, Personal foul. foul. Yep, so. Personal foul called against the ring next. I think that might have been enough for the first down, but, you know, we're not going to have to worry about that with the penalty. No, they don't. No, they don't. Great call on that. But, hey. uh just a little extra on that tackle. It's a good pass by Day that got in between both. Uh, it was. It was defenders. a good shot. So bring this out to the 40 yard line. We'll First and 10 again for <coughs> Trigo. And they, like again, said, you know, they've been moving the ball at times, Ivan. They just, um, nothing sustained. I, I thought with the penalty, they would stop the clock. It was in bounds. Though. Was it? Okay. Yep. I thought it was out. It was in. It was in. That's yeah. right. I'm not right very often, but <laughs> <laughs> it was in bounds. Now that I remember that. 
Uh, looking to Pitch. option to oh. Smith, but good job there by Nuss out there staying home on the option play. Makes the tackle right at the line of scrimmage. Yeah, turned it back inside. Get a little help. So, wow, that was no game. Next at game time tonight is brought to you by New Age Industrial, Midwest Energy, Rogers and Associates Insurance, Mapeson Miller LLP, the Hayes Rec Commission, and Redeem Designs. But yeah, good job there by uh, by Nuss, just staying staying home on that left side. So they keep they spread the linebackers out. The safeties go man to man on the receivers. Oh wow! Yeah, Amron stayed home. <laughs> Maybe a yard for Smith. A little misdirection, you know. Take it right back up the middle, and Amron was right there in the hole. So third and nine now for Trigo. Three twenty to go in this first half. So they're waiting. What was that? So they're taking their time, wait, kind of waiting to come to the line of scrimmage. Yeah, let that clock get eat up a little bit here. Now so you got connect in at yep. quarterback. Looking for the option to the right side. You got to keep it up the middle. And it's spun down by Long to about the 35-yard line, 36-yard line. Three or four there. Yep. So fourth, fourth and six, fourth and five. Five and a half maybe. So. This that was the right. That was the right play. I mean, that was the right sure. read. They were, they were well. They were boxing it in, yep. and and uh, he was able to find it. He found a small crease. So, so fourth and five again for the Eagles. They con converted last time on on a fourth down. Two twenty to go here in this first half. Thirty six to six. Really, I would I would change my cadence a little yep. bit and, and Look at this uh, man to man coverage out here. Wilson and Atkins. Ooh, looks like a broken and play. And Day's going to try to get what he can, but not. Uh, a little short. Yeah. Looks like a broken play from here anyway. Yeah, it didn't, didn't look right. So Day comes up short, and there's going to be a turnover on downs for Joaquini. Yeah, it looked like they were trying to hit Wilson out here on another Yeah, it, it just didn't look good as soon as Day got the ball in his hands because he turned. I thought maybe it looked like he was going to at least fake hand off somebody, but. Um, so now Amrine back to work for the ringnecks. Twins receivers to his left. Malone setback is Nuss. Low snap. Looking to throw across the middle. Oh, He's got Atkins right over, wow. over the top of everybody. And in for the score. Well, you just see that speed. See he was coming. just separating from the defender. And um, honestly, he underthrew it. Yeah. Atkins was way out in front and uh, had to wait for it. So, yeah. Had to wait on it a little bit. Day was coming in on him, so a little pressure by Day, but uh, Amrine. Just that the freshman yep. win right there, just, you know. Um, just he got back behind him, and yep. it was all. And the foot race is over yep. at that point. Yep. 42-6 to six the score here, pending this two-point conversion. Got a freshman in at the running back position here, Tyler Ashbaugh. And to give to Ashbaugh up the middle, and he's in for the he score. Two-point conversion is good. 44, 44 to, six. to 6 with a minute or a buck 55 right now. So, <coughs> so Coach is over there trying to get anything yeah. he can out of those guys. Well, I think at this point you just want to get to halftime if you're, <coughs> if you're Trigo. You know. He's trying to get anything yeah. he can out of there. Because really, that was right up the gut. Yep. So that was right up the gut. So, yep, forty-four to six, our score. One fifty-five to go in this first half. One fifty-five to go. So yeah, if you're Joaquini right now, you're just trying to get get to halftime, Re reset, reset. regroup a little yep. bit, and and um, um, they haven't. You know, I I can't remember the last time they had a return. Yeah. On, but see what happens yep. here. We, we shall see. Back deep again. Win and Wilson for the Eagles. Look to number 
where we started off back and forth, but uh, Hill City able to keep the keep the pedal down, but not uh, the Golden Eagles have kind of come up short, sputtered a little bit. A little bit. I just I just think right now they're a little outmanned. Yeah. They got a, a lot of younger guys playing, and right now they're just a little outmanned. And Ryan teeing this up for the ring necks. Ooh. And a little pooch kick. And it's rolling out of bounds. Is it gonna Yep, so it's gonna be Joaquin's <laughs> ball? <laughs> yeah. Boy, that thing was on the ground forever. <laughs> oh uh yeah. Now the White Hat's going yeah. uh I don't know if it was was it recovered in, in bounds. I don't know right there. That was, <laughs> was I, I don't think it was but I don't know if somebody touched it. I mean, and well, you know, there's they insult the injury yeah, right there's there. A, there's a flag down. Where? And there's a procedure. Procedure call against Hill City. Yeah. I mean, I don't. Yeah, I don't know why. I guess the ball's right there. Yeah. So, first and ten for Wa for Trigo at the 38-yard line. From their own 38. Just listen in on some of the options that they could have had. <laughs> you know, um, I just I didn't know if we would see that play right then, the way it is right now. Yeah, that's uh, I just didn't know if we'd see that. Try to catch him off guard, but uh, unsuccessful. Now Day out of the shotgun twin. Running backs for Day. Boy, they move quick and just nowhere to go for Day. He was going to pitch it, but, boy. Uh, well, I don't know if that snap play. got there before yeah. he was expecting it. Yeah. The way it looked. <laughs> Dinkle, <laughs> Dinkle again on the tackle. We've called his name a bunch here this first half. If he had pitched it, it would have been the same situation. Off the four brings up second and 14. Ball back on the Trigo 34. So second and 14 for Trigo. 125 to go first half 44 to 6 is the score well those out passes have been working yep. you know they've been working but uh just the one time that doesn't it's over wilson in motion now look at the throw Ooh. to kinder connect and no it's going to say hits the ground that's yep. good Good battle out there between Kenner Connect and Steven. Yeah, he tried to drive him deep and then turn back, and, and it just didn't have enough on the yeah. ball. The ball was a little low. So third and 14, 104 to go here in this first half. Taking, taking a lot of time coming out of the off the sideline with the play. Well, you know, here's, I mean, you've got a buck four left on the clock. So another pass play, if it's incomplete, then what are you going to do here? Yeah. Hill City with all three timeouts left in this first half. Twins receivers to the right for the Golden Eagles day out of the shotgun. Looking Coming a crossing throw. pattern. Oh. He has Kenner connect, and he's across the 40 down to the That was a nice play. You yeah. know, it, it, you took your eyes off of it a little bit because they had that crossing pattern, and uh, the other receiver went out and just sat out there. So Trigo's going to call a timeout here with 48 seconds left to go on fourth down, and we'll, we're going to take it with them. You're watching game time here on Next Tech Local 1. At New Age Industrial, we take great pride in our aluminum products by designing and manufacturing cutting edge equipment for a variety of industries while maintaining the highest level of customer service. We're a global aluminum extruder and fabricator and one of the area's largest employers. Not only do we take great pride in our products, but we're also proud supporters of the area's students and athletes. We'll be cheering them on all season long. To learn more, visit us online at newageindustrial.com. No matter who you are, the Hayes Rec Commission is for you. There's leisure programs for all ages. There's a wellness center that works for anyone at any level. Youth and adult sports, aquatics, 
and great facilities for any event. Go to hazerec.org to see the list of activities and sign up. Here are some of the upcoming activities. We're still having fun. Hayes Rec's the one. We are still the one. Welcome back to game time here on Next Tech Local 1. Fourth down here for the Golden Eagles. 48 seconds left to go. First half, 44 to 6 our score. Hill City with the lead. So big, big fourth down here for Trigo. It's fourth and seven. Going to have somebody go yep. in motion. Yeah, back to that play there. Yep. Going to look in the throw. He's got Wilson out in the flat open. And he gets the ball to yeah, him. Across nice play. The, nope, going to say incomplete. Wow. Nice pass couldn't, by yeah. Jay, though, I'm telling you. Nice. Boy, he couldn't hold on to it. He had a lot of room. We had Wilson open out there. Yeah. Um, Day had to roll out to his left and uh, made a great play. Just maybe not enough on it, but it hit him in the hands. So, yeah, yeah another another unfortunate play here for Trigo, and he'll see he takes over first and ten at the thirty-seven yard line. Forty seconds to go before halftime. Amron looking to throw, rolling right, and nope, nope. behind his receivers, tight end there, number ten, Mason Herman. Atkins comes back in. Yep. <coughs> yeah, you got to keep your eye on him. He's been. Got to keep your eye on twenty-two. He's been electric tonight. He gets back behind one of those guys or, out there, and um, oh, where's Steven going? Whoa! Up they switch <laughs> up on him. So twins receivers to the right. Amron out of shotgun. Thus the lone setback. Now oh, Amron steps up in the pocket here. Going to give to Long on the reverse. And he's off to the races. Man, what that thing opened up on the right-hand side, Ivan. There was, that is unbelievable. There was no one there. I can't. I, I don't have anything for that because, man, it just created a lane and, and a, uh, untouched. Just a 42-yard tight end reverse. <laughs> wasn't even touched. Oh, wow. Holy cow. I got nothing. So now 50 to six, <coughs> up by 44. This is the uh, this is the dagger. <laughs> so two point conversion attempt here for Hill City. If it gets to 45, and you know there was nothing fancy about that, that either. That was just basically an end around. And here's uh, the freshman Tate Balthazar in at quarterback for the Ringnecks. Bobbles the ball across the middle, and he's gonna come up short. Good tackle out there, number 55. That's one of those things. He's looking He's looking what's in front of him, and the snap comes. He might have caught that in the air and caught it clean. He might have scored. So 50 to 6 at halftime here, or it's 27 seconds before halftime. Yeah, it looks like uh, Coach Davian's using some of those younger players in on this two-point sure. conversion. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, just trying to get them some playing time. He just, time here he just didn't night. catch it cleanly. Yep. He was he was looking yeah. towards the end zone and yep. uh, young freshman took his eye off of it. Yep. So eighteen to six, it looks like Norton on top of Smith Center at halftime. No. Pardon me. What was that again? Eighteen to six, Smith Center, or Norton up on top of Smith Center. What's the old gunslinger got up there this year? Uh, I think everybody returned. Did they? they? didn't have much graduate, so. We'll see them in a couple weeks. We will see them in a couple weeks. You know, I doubt if they have another hamburger feed, though. So, uh, you know, what are you going to do there? Probably complain about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, the thing about it is, you know, Sue, you know, yeah. could put us on a, a little chow there. line for yeah. us and, and right. uh, you know. We'll see what we can work on. Back deep is Wilson and yeah. Wynn for the Golden Eagles. Amron again set the kick off. And this one's going to go deep into the end zone for the touchback. No question. So, one point shy of the 45-point rule. There you are, showing off again. <laughs> 27 seconds. Showing off again. Let's see what Coach Axon does here. Well, Whatever you want to do, you don't want to throw yeah. an interception or yeah. have a fumble. Yeah. 
today. Puts his helmet back on. <laughs> yeah, yeah you showing him math skills tonight, man. Just uh, <laughs> well, you know. I guess when you got it, you got it. Right, you got it. You know, it's about the only skills I got left. You know, so. <laughs> Kinder connect out of the. I, you know, pitch. <laughs> was it for the pass line? That was forward. <laughs> Well, was he past the line, though? I guess Did, if he's still behind the I line know, of scrimmage, he's throw forward. But, but you can still do that, know. but I thought he was well past it. <laughs> I, I think he was, too. It was close. Here, we'll get a lot of replay. No, we just got the end of it. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> yeah, that was going to be close. That well, was going to be close. But that's going maybe to that be. Maybe that guy's glasses <laughs> came off. The, I don't know. End of the half here. 50 to 6, our score. Hill City up big over Trigo. You're watching Game Time here on Next Tech, Local 1. A special thanks to the Waukini Game Time Boosters, Sheer Designs, Waukini Animal Hospital, and Earl Liquor Store. Wishing all Trigo Golden Eagles a successful season, both on and off the field. TJ's Alignment and Repair, Trigo Recreation Commission, and Pit Road Liquor. Let's go gold. Go fight win from professional fire equipment. Longtime full season booster of Next Tech Game Time. They're rooting for all area schools to have a great year. You visualize the winning opportunity. You're ready to outperform the competition. And you know doing it alone is impossible. Ready to win? Let's talk business. Natural gas is a safe, efficient fuel for your home. Natural gas is odorized for your safety. That distinct rotten egg smell could be a sign that you have a gas leak. If you have a compromised sense of smell, consider purchasing a methane detector for your home. If you suspect a leak, do not operate light switches, use phones, garage openers, or anything that could cause a spark. Get everyone out of the building immediately and call Midwest Energy. A safety message from Midwest Energy, a customer-owned cooperative making energy work for you. Here at Mapes & Miller, we take care of your finances, allowing you time to take care of your business, farm, and personal lives. We offer financial services, including tax prep, bookkeeping, payroll, and auditing. We offer services to farmers, ranchers, small businesses, and more. By coming to us, you will be able to spend more time at your business and with your families. It's not what you make, it's what you keep. Next Tech Advertising Solutions is a broadband-driven marketing agency that provides customized solutions to fit the specific needs of each company. A team of 22 marketing experts help companies just like yours achieve their goals. Next Tech Advertising Solutions is recreating the way marketing is done in the broadband industry. From strategic marketing plans, award-winning creatives, real-time campaign metrics, and a focus on ROI with data dashboards. Next Tech Advertising Solutions knows broadband because they are broadband. A special thanks to the Hill City Game Time Boosters, Graham County Hospital, Living on a Prairie, Hill City Pharmacy, and First State Bank. They're proud supporters of the Ringneck students and athletes. Go fight win from professional fire equipment. Longtime full season booster of Next Tech Game Time. They're rooting for all area schools to have a great year. Having Next Tech means powerful fiber internet right to your home. Why is that a big deal? Because fiber means faster, more reliable internet. There's no waiting while streaming or gaming. We give you symmetrical upload and download speeds at no extra cost. And we don't cap data, which means internet without limits. 
Switch now. Get a $100 credit and get local service from local people. Connect on nexttech.com, the best in the internet business. Those smartphones, laptops, TVs, and gaming systems all mean added load on your current internet bandwidth, and added load means waiting. We want you to stop waiting, so we're letting you try a new, faster internet speed to see what works for your needs. That's right, stream, game, and download without wait and without increasing your price for three months. Trust me, you'll love it. Connect on nexttech.com, the best in the internet business. Traditional TV is out. Streaming is now. Next Tech TV now, to be exact. Say bye-bye to cable and clunky boxes and hello to Next Tech TV now. Watch whenever and wherever in real time and on demand. Enjoy extras like replay and live TV, HD, and DVR all included free, plus over 100 great channel choices. Get Next Tech TV now and a $200 credit when you switch. Connect on nexttech.com, the best in the streaming business. At New Age Industrial, we take great pride in our aluminum products by designing and manufacturing cutting-edge equipment for a variety of industries while maintaining the highest level of customer service. We're a global aluminum extruder and fabricator and one of the area's largest employers. Not only do we take great pride in our products, but we're also proud supporters of the area's students and athletes. We'll be cheering them on all season long. To learn more, visit us online at newageindustrial.com. No matter who you are, the Hayes Rec Commission is for you. There's leisure programs for all ages. There's a wellness center that works for anyone at any level. Youth and adult sports, aquatics, and great facilities for any event. Go to HayesRec.org to see the list of activities and sign up. Here are some of the upcoming activities. We're still having fun. Hayes Rec's the one. We are. A special thanks to the Joaquini Game Time Boosters, Sheer Designs, Joaquini Animal Hospital, and Earl Liquor Store. Wishing all Trigo Golden Eagles a successful season, both on and off the field. TJ's Alignment and Repair, Trigo Recreation Commission, and Pit Road Liquor. Let's go gold. Go fight win from professional fire equipment. Longtime full season booster of Next Tech Game Time. They're rooting for all area schools to have a great year. You visualize the winning opportunity. You're ready to outperform the competition. And you know doing it alone is impossible. Ready to win? Let's talk business. Welcome back to game time here on Next Tech Local One. Our score at halftime, 50 to six, Hill City with the big lead over Trico Community Co or Community High School. Whoa, what'd you do there, Ivan? I don't know, but I got Whoa. it back. Woo. All right. We're hot. <laughs> yeah. Ivan up here. Uh, Playing. Running, uh, running the board. And with the audio <laughs> here. and Because um, all of a sudden it just went out. Yeah. So... Uh, but boy, uh, Ivan, that first half, Caleb Atkins just uh, put on a show. Put on a show. Put on a show, and Dude, and came out of the end zone, eighty yard plus touchdown, and yeah. and uh, got real, inter interception return. Yeah, caught put a on. pass, ran for a pass. Yep, yep. So, well, speed kills, and yep. you know, and and he's been doing that for a long time. He's a senior this year, so um, and really, Hill, Hill City is just a leg up tonight. Just a leg up tonight. Atkins had three three touchdowns, a running touchdown, uh, interception return for a touchdown, and he caught a touchdown. Jaden Nuss, two touchdown runs. Aiden Amrine, a touchdown run and a touchdown <coughs> throw for the ringnecks. For Trigo, they did uh, – they tied this game up at six on a big touchdown run by Gunnar Wilson, but that is – That's pretty much score. it. That is – <laughs> they've they've had some nice pass plays and you know and some outs and some yep. things like that, you know uh, Coach Haxon you know he's trying to pull that rabbit out of the hat here tonight and I uh, just he's just he can't match up tonight yep. so yeah there was a good connection between Day and Wilson on a couple of those throws but uh, every time it looked like they got a little a little bit of momentum got some things going Ivan it, it 
it ended yeah. either in turnover and downs or well, interceptions. Or and, and the thing about it is they did the right thing, too. They tried to slow it down, you know, you know, give themselves yeah. a little breather, make sure they run the play correctly, you know. And But um, it, it's just not uh, – they're, they're just a little short on horses tonight. So, so the second half, we are only um, one point away – from the four to five point rule, if if, if Hill City scores without uh, Joaquini scoring, this game will be over. It will. It will be over. Um, what do you expect here coming second half? Uh, Joaquini's going to get the ball. Correct. Uh, I'm guessing they're going to they're going to try. They're going to have their starters out trying to trying to score put, well, put points on the board. Just it could be an interesting kickoff. Maybe there there could be an yeah. onside. You know, <laughs> um, you never know. He tried one earlier and he was still up by, yeah. uh, you know, thirty some odd points. Yeah. Um, but other than that, Amron's been putting it in the end zone for a touchback. So, so um, if, you're, if, if you're Hill City, do you come out with your starters here, try to put this game down, or do you let some of the younger guys play? Um. Oh, you're really thinking this one. I really am because, uh, you know, it's one of those things, you know, yeah. um, you're you're this close. And, and then the thing about it is is uh, it, it's always great to play everybody and get everybody in the game because they're all working hard, lifting right. weights all summer. Um, but other coaches that I've talked to along the way over the years, sometimes it's just good to get it over in case somebody gets hurt. Right. You know, uh, main wheel in your cog, you know, uh, you know yeah. trips up an ankle or does something stupid or, you know, because you want to let him play, you know, one of those things, a senior or right. something like that. He wants to play. He wants to be on the field. So guys that I've talked to previously, you know, anywhere from Victoria to Tiernan and Osborne, uh, they ring it up. Yeah. So, so yeah, it'll be interesting to see what uh, what takes place here to start this second half. Um, and we've got some scores from some of the games around the area on our Next Tech game time scoreboard. Uh, Cunningham, uh, f- boy, I think they <coughs> tried to get a little revenge from the. Uh, yep. <laughs> the, well, we seen the Toma. They didn't have any well, players last eight week. Eight guys and look really, really, really out of shape. So, uh, yeah. uh, you, it's tough when you only got eight and you're playing six all the time. So, yep. not not too many subs can't can't get. Catch so I don't want to say yeah. I hate to say they're out of yeah. shape, man. They were winded. Yeah. So, Thunder Ridge all over Rock Hills. The Victoria Lacrosse. That's a close one now. Now within um, that could turn eight, into a shootout. Yeah. So eight points, still no score. We we don't have from Osborne and Stockton. Hoxie, who opened it up on Wheatland Grinnell. Looks like that's going to end at halftime. I believe so. Yeah. Maxville up two scores on Central Plains. Uh, Quinter a big over St. Francis, <coughs> and then uh, Lakeside up a couple scores on Wilson. Oakley and Phillipsburg. Boy, Phillipsburg in another battle. Last week they took Smith Center down to the wire, and now yep. in a battle. 18 to 6 Norton over Smith Center in halftime. Russell up 13 to 0 Plainville. TMP up big on Ellis. You know that new guy, the new coach over in Russell, has really turned things around over there. So, yeah, I mean, I think they were mentioned as one of those teams to kind of keep an eye on this sure. year, um, looking for a big improvement there. You know, Russell and Oakley now both in the MCL. Yeah, with us going to Plainville next week yep. for the TMP game. Yeah. You know, uh, we'll have to see if Plainville can pull this Ooh. out tonight. Yeah, so. Plainville lost uh, first week one to Norton. Now, if they can't uh, come back on Russell, they're going to be 0-2. Yeah, with TMP game. coming in, and, and they're on a roll. Yeah. So, uh, um, yeah, with Grant Stevenson up there, it could be a little interesting. So That haze all over Great Bend, 26-0 at halftime there. Holy Oak puts up 40 points in the first half on Colby. That's, that's a lot. Yowza. Liberal on top of Emporia. Dodge and Junction. Look at that. Garden City. 63. In the first half. Wow. Ooh. Dodge wow. And Junction tied. Gosh. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, that's that's attracting. <laughs> I don't know. Well, that's putting it on somebody. That's for well, sure. Especially an 11. That's 11, man. That's no 8-man or no 6-man. That's 11, man. So. I don't know how you get 63 points at halftime. But well, you were been working on your math skills all night, yeah. so let's well. see how you you know how you come <laughs> up with that one. So, well, you know that's, I think that's that's what, nine touchdowns. Yes. with extra points. Yes, yes. I I seen that that hamster, you know, spinning well, that wheel. On top. If you'd have looked under the table here, I'm counting with my leg. <laughs> okay. So uh, I had made it to sixty, and you said sixty-three. So <laughs> or you said nine. So. 
But uh, that's yeah, hard. that'd be nine touchdowns. <laughs> He almost had used all fingers. Well, fingers you away. know, you're just one of those guys to take all the glory. So. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I should have waited know. a little bit longer so you could answer. Showing <laughs> off. You know, because I told you, I'm a C-minus guy. <laughs> you know. Well, C's get degrees. I'm not overachieving, but, I'm, <laughs> you know, I'm not showing off. Right. But I'm not falling behind, you know, <laughs> so. We got an update to score Victoria 28, lacrosse 14. So right before halftime there, looks like Victoria's able to punch that in, extend that lead a little bit. But, uh. 50 seconds here before we get the warm-up time. So yeah, they'll put another three on there. Yeah. So we're going to take a quick break right here, and we'll come back with the second half kickoff. You're watching Game Time on Next Tech, Local 1. Natural gas is a safe, efficient fuel for your home. Natural gas is odorized for your safety. That distinct rotten egg smell could be a sign that you have a gas leak. If you have a compromised sense of smell, consider purchasing a methane detector for your home. If you suspect a leak, do not operate light switches, use phones, garage openers, or anything that could cause a spark. Get everyone out of the building immediately and call Midwest Energy. A safety message from Midwest Energy, a customer-owned cooperative making energy work for you. Here at Mapes and Miller, we take care of your finances, allowing you time to take care of your business, farm, and personal lives. We offer financial services, including tax prep, bookkeeping, payroll, and auditing. We offer services to farmers, ranchers, small businesses, and more. By coming to us, you will be able to spend more time at your business and with your families. It's not what you make, it's what you keep. Next Tech Advertising Solutions is a broadband-driven marketing agency that provides customized solutions to fit the specific needs of each company. A team of 22 marketing experts help companies just like yours achieve their goals. Next Tech Advertising Solutions is recreating the way marketing is done in the broadband industry. From strategic marketing plans, award-winning creatives, real-time campaign metrics, and a focus on ROI with data dashboards. Next Tech Advertising Solutions knows broadband because they are broadband. We know that buying a home is a new and exciting moment in life. At Rogers & Associates, we can help protect one of your most important investments. Together, we'll find solutions to address your insurance coverage requirements at a competitive price. Whether it be for an unexpected wind or hailstorm, fire or theft, Rogers & Associates offers affordable coverage to protect the place you'll call home. Call us today for a free quote. A special thanks to the Hill City Game Time Boosters, Graham County Hospital, Living on a Prairie, Hill City Pharmacy, and First State Bank. They're proud supporters of the Ringneck students and athletes. Go Fight Win from Professional Fire Equipment, Longtime full season booster of Next Tech Game Time. They're rooting for all area schools to have a great year. Having Next Tech means powerful fiber internet right to your home. Why is that a big deal? Because fiber means faster, more reliable internet. There's no waiting while streaming or gaming. We give you symmetrical upload and download speeds at no extra cost. And we don't cap data, which means internet without limits. Switch now, get a $100 credit, and get local service from local people. Connect on nexttech.com, the best in the internet business. Welcome back to game time here on Next Tech Local 1. 50 to 6, our score here at halftime. We're getting ready to kick off this second half. Trigo will receive 
Reminder, Next Tech Wireless is our official Snapchat partner. Fans attending tonight's game here in Hill City can find and apply our custom filter to their snaps and support their favorite team right here from their smartphones. Great job on that. Great job. And so there's Amrine's kick into the end zone. <laughs> We'll start at the 15-yard line. So no onside kick there. Well, that took mine out of it, my <laughs> idea out of it there. Um, but Amrine's still out there. You may have different motives than, than others. Yes, yes. I think you know what I was looking at. and, and uh, um, So first and ten here for. He's still got, he's still got his yep. defense out there anyway. For the Golden Eagles. Day coming in with, from the sideline with the play. See what they do here. They started first half with the I formation option now. Two receivers to the right of day looking to throw. He's got a little he's bit of time. He's got some time and he's got an, an alley. Yeah, rolls left. <coughs> pull up and throw over the top. Nice. And hits Kinder Connect to about the 35 yard line. Nice play. We bought some time off to the left side, just lofted that's that pass over the top of the uh, defender. The thing about that was he knew where he was, and he, he, he took a step back to make sure he didn't cross. And uh, Good job there by the freshman running back, uh, Cass Smith, with the chip on the defensive end coming in. So first and ten for Trigo. Good play there on first down. They might just stay in a passing mode. Now Wilson motion. in motion. Going to fake the hand to give him and day up the middle makes a man nice miss run. and close to another first down. Great run. Boy, Amrine was squaring him up and looks like he able to sidestep him and get nine yards. On the He's play. limping a little bit. Yeah. He's limping a little. So second and one now for Trigo. Maybe uh, Haxton fired up yeah. the troops a little bit there. I don't think they were ready to go home. I mean, it's a short, it's a short <laughs> ride, but I don't think they're ready to go home yet. It is a short ride. So second and one here for the Golden Eagles. Receiver split <laughs> each way for Day out of the shotgun. Looking Crossing throw pattern over the middle. He's Open. got Wilson to the twenty and fifteen, still on his feet, and Atkins wrestles him down at the thirteen yard line. But boy, Day took a shot. He was kind of late getting That's up. Delivered that Wilson. pass right across the middle, though. Nice play. Yeah. Nice job. play. Hung in there tight or hung in there tough and delivered the pass across the middle for the first down. So by far the best drive of the night for the Golden Eagles. First and ten at just inside the fifteen yard line at the fourteen. Trips. Yep, trips right. Day looking to run. He's just gonna take oh, the they left sealed side. that in. <laughs> and Good job there by Dinkle. He, yeah. he got sealed in, but he was able to shake loose and make the tackle after just a couple couple yard gain. Yeah, Dinkle came up from his linebacker position. Boy, they did have that sealed off. Good job there by Dinkle with the pursuit. Well, that could have been a bigger play than, than two yards. It could have. So second down and eight for Trigo. In motion is Wilson. And there's Wilson some flag. Looks like a little yep. bit of movement. Yep. Flag on the play. Yeah, just uh, again another. I think Coach uh, Haxon he wants to be in a huddle out with that. <laughs> Kind of a one step forward, two steps back situation here for Trigo tonight. I can't get that tune out of my head. <laughs> well, just From the band. Humming a little bit more, yeah. We <coughs> second night, second week in a row, we've got a little band action. We do. Yeah, we do. Wilson in motion, going to look to throw. And uh, just over. Just, over. Yep. just high. Yeah. There just was, high. And there was two defenders there as well. Yeah. He tried to thread it, and he was just too high. He was open. There was a lane. <clears throat> well, we're definitely in four-down territory. Uh, absolutely. So. absolutely. Third, and, third and 13 for Trigo.
Mainly moving the ball here in the air. Twin receivers now to the right of Day. Smith in the backfield. Rolling out. Looking to throw. Lobs over the top. And he's got his receiver at the goal line. He's in for the score. Boy, that was just lobbed up in the air. It Kinder was. Connect went and got that. Touchdown, Trigo. Pass completed to number 11. Kinder Connect for oh. the score. They were saying you were loud. I'm loud? I'm it down. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> so, Kenner Connect with the score there. And, uh, boy, Joaquini, nice drive there for the Golden Eagles. Very nice drive. Came out a uh, little bit of fire and, and uh, took it down and scored. Yep. So, two-point conversion attempt here for Trigo. I have formation. Now, Kenner Connect under center. Looking to throw a pop pass over the middle, and he's got his tight end. Number three there. That's Wow. Uh, Took it down. Yeah. Jaron Winholtz. Uh, tight end just came over the top with a nice pass. So, a two-point conversion for Joaquini in there. Nice. nice got a little play. momentum here. Nice second play. half. Yeah. 50 to 14 are scored now. So, yeah, it looks like they came out at halftime with a little bit of little fire underneath them, Ivan. Mm, got them going at halftime. Maybe had one of those come to Jesus talks. You well, know what I'm saying? <laughs> they, were, they were about a yard away from this game ending, and so. They uh, were. They uh, were that close to being uh, in the Suburbans over there. So, so now a little, little extra. Little bonus football here, and well, I got to tell you right here, I would not kick the twenty-two. No, <laughs> Day's been kick. It, it his kickoffs have been into the end zone for the most part, because it could uh, be right back the other direction. So, well, that's the only thing missing off the uh, number ten will kick off for the cycle for Atkins. <laughs> he's exactly he's, he's ran. Cycle. He's caught one. He's intercepted for a touchdown, so he just needs a return, and he'll hit for the cycle tonight. Oh, uh, he he's shot. gonna catch it. Yep, Atkins at the nine-yard line across the middle, and still on his feet. He's gonna go. Gone. He's gonna go. <laughs> there it is. Atkins spinning off to the left side in a foot race, but he's gonna win that one. <laughs> and I tell you, oh my gosh, that just reminds 71 me yard return. of uh, a decade ago, decade yeah. plus ago, watching uh, Colt Rogers do yep. that for Smith Center and would always have that dagger, <laughs> so. Wow, so there it is, there's the cycle for Atkins. He's done everything, scored in every which way tonight. And look what the Swami called. Whew. Did the Swami tell you? Yeah, he did. <laughs> you were spot on. You can't kick to that guy. No. You just can't do it. Unless you you know, you you can if you got some yeah. but you gotta end, you know, you gotta be yeah. able to tackle. So yeah. And right now out of the shotgun, twins receivers both ways now, Atkins in motion. Oh and may have been moving a little bit. Yep. So false start on the ring next though. Trying to get a little too fancy yep. there. <coughs> so they can't end the game here on this two-point conversion, but uh, but boy, man, he is an exciting player. He is. I mean, Atkins is just—he yeah, really is. And you know, we we know that we knew that yeah. coming in because we've done this game the last three or four years. So uh, we've got to watch him play. So now they're going to try an extra point. Extra attempt. point. Yep, at uh, Amrine now teeing this thing up. From the 15, 16 yard line, so 26 yard point after attempt. Oh, bad snap. Throwing to Amrine, going to roll to the right. Just going to look for a guy over the middle, and it's knocked away. <laughs> hey, at least a guy. I mean, that's a heads up play by everybody on, exactly. on the kick team there. Bad snap, and, and yep. uh, good thing on the placeholder. Just kicked it out to yep. Amrine. He had yep. somebody short. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> they were. You know, they were 20 yards away from the two-point conversion. But, hey, that's a heads-up play. At least, you, at least you got the, you know, you got to try for the two. So, But 56-14 uh, to 14 now, 9.07 to go, third quarter. Well, Hill City, let's see what they dial up yeah. here. Do they take a shot? 
<laughs> you're Nostradamus over there. I don't know. You take a shot. He's talking to him for a long yeah. time, like staying yeah. in your lanes, uh, you know. Yeah. Um, that's a long time for somebody that puts it in the end zone all the time. Win and Wilson back deep for the Eagles. Oh, yep, going to move it over a little bit. So let's see what, see if what the, this is. Yep. Let's see if the Swami's in on it. So you're calling for it right here, huh? Well, I don't think so, but... It was a long talk. Yep, yeah, yeah, I think you're right. Yep, just nope. go kick this one deep and over the head of Wilson into the end zone for the touchback. Touchback beats Trigo's ball. And Trigo's going to get the ball at the 15-yard line, first and 10 for their second drive here in the second half. You know, they marched it right down the field for a score. Yep. So... See what they got. <clears throat> yeah, Dave looking just a little, little gimpy out there coming to the huddle, but uh, breaks the huddle. One receiver, Wilson, off to the right side. Two receivers in the, or two backs in the backfield <coughs> with Day. Going to option Pitch. it off to Kittle Ooh, connect over the back of his head and oh, on the ball no. is Hill City. That's <clears throat> number four, Siler Rohr with the fumble recovery. And that was kind of a two-handed yep. chest pass. Oh. No. Oh. Oh. They call it incomplete. I, boy, it looked behind. Didn't it look to you? It did to me. But <laughs> tough angle from here, but. Uh, yeah, I. Yamaha. <laughs> well, they're fortunate. Joaquini was fortunate very, there. So very second fortunate. down and 10. Kind of same formation, but Wilson off to the left side. Looking to throw, and Wilson in and out of his hands. A little high out there. And Atkins with the with the <laughs> pressure being applied after that, but a uh, little high on the pass. Would have been about two or three yard gain yeah. after, you know, because really he was in the air. By the time he got him down, it would have been a two or three yard gain. It'd be a good time to throw one of those uh, hook and go. See, what? Well, look at you. Yeah, look I'm at catching you. on this football thing, you're you know. You're catching on. <laughs> How many Norton games have we done? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so, twin receivers <clears throat> to the right for day out of the shotgun. No, hook and ladder. <laughs> Looking to throw. Got him. Oh, he's got Wilson out on the flat, but just uh, just a little wide on the throw. Goes incomplete. Yeah, that can backpedal in there. <clears throat> that pass would have been on target. That would have been a completion. So, yep, a little, little heat being provided. Yeah, this is a good thing. I would just take Atkins and play center field here. Yep. And, uh, so fourth and ten here, for sure going to be a pun, I would think. You I never you, know. I would just punt it out of bounds. You never know. Now they're going to go for it here. Trips receivers to the right. Looking to throw under pressure. Gets hit, and that goes incomplete. Boy, Long put a good hit on Day. And uh, Coach Jackson took a shot. Yep. He took a shot. If he would have had another second, he might have got a better ball out of there. But uh, yep. good really pressure, no pressure on him. Yep. Good yep. pressure right yep. there. Right in his face. <laughs> and uh, he had to rush that pass a little bit. So incomplete pass, and he'll see he takes over first and 10 at the 15-yard line, looking to go in to score to end this ball game. Amber in the backfield, two backs with him. Just a little pass out Ooh. to the side. And that was almost trouble yep. there. Yep, off the hands of Just Atkins. A, a little fancy there. Trio did a nice job on reading that. The score update here looks like Victoria putting it on lacrosse now, 42-14. Holy shnikes. Boy, that turned quickly. It did. 
but that can happen in that oh, eight-man yeah. game, man. We've Smith, seen it. Yep. I mean, uh, <clears throat> Smith Center now with a score gets closer to Norton, 18-14. to 14. We talked about that missed, missed <clears throat> extra points or missed two-point conversions will come back and haunt you. And there it is for the score. Nuss in for his third touchdown run of the night, and that will be the ball game. Untouched again. Here on this replay, boy, they pulled the pull the right guard Dinkle, and he had no one to block. He was right there in the open. He had that no was one to it. block. That was it. So, hey, the thing about it is, Trio came out in the second half, and, and I, on offense played yeah. well. Yeah, came out and scored, and and uh, had a little savvy to him. So yeah, I mean, you can hang your hat on that. You know, they didn't they didn't back down they came out and just a little shorthanded uh yeah. they're they're missing some horses over there for sure so but uh yeah our final here 62 14 hill city with the with the win uh we'll go to a break and we'll come back with some update scores and, and recap this ball game so stay tuned you're watching game time here on next tech local one We know that buying a home is a new and exciting moment in life. At Rogers & Associates, we can help protect one of your most important investments. Together, we'll find solutions to address your insurance coverage requirements at a competitive price. Whether it be for an unexpected wind or hailstorm, fire or theft, Rogers & Associates offers affordable coverage to protect the place you'll call home. Call us today for a free quote. A special thanks to the Hill City Game Time Boosters, Graham County Hospital, Living on a Prairie, Hill City Pharmacy, and First State Bank. They're proud supporters of the Ringneck students and athletes. Go Fight Win from Professional Fire Equipment, longtime full season booster of Next Tech Game Time. They're rooting for all area schools to have a great year. At New Age Industrial, we take great pride in our aluminum products by designing and manufacturing cutting edge equipment for a variety of industries while maintaining the highest level of customer service. We're a global aluminum extruder and fabricator and one of the area's largest employers. Not only do we take great pride in our products, but we're also proud supporters of the area students and athletes. We'll be cheering them on all season long. To learn more, visit us online at newageindustrial.com. No matter who you are, the Hayes Rec Commission is for you. There's leisure programs for all ages. There's a wellness center that works for anyone at any level. Youth and adult sports, aquatics, and great facilities for any event. Go to HayesRec.org to see the list of activities and sign up. Here are some of the upcoming activities. We're still having fun. Hayes Rec's the one. We are. A special thanks to the Joaquini Game Time Boosters, Sheer Designs, Joaquini Animal Hospital, and Earl Liquor Store. Wishing all Trigo Golden Eagles a successful season, both on and off the field. TJ's Alignment and Repair, Trigo Recreation Commission, and Pit Road Liquor. Let's go gold. Go fight win from professional fire equipment. Longtime full season booster of Next Tech Game Time. They're rooting for all area schools to have a great year. Natural gas is a safe, efficient fuel for your home. Natural gas is odorized for your safety. That distinct rotten egg smell could be a sign that you have a gas leak. If you have a compromised sense of smell, consider purchasing a methane detector for your home. If you suspect a leak, do not operate light switches, use phones, garage openers, or anything that could cause a spark. Get everyone out of the building immediately and call Midwest Energy. A safety message from Midwest Energy, a customer-owned cooperative making energy work for you. Here at Mapes & Miller, we take care of your finances, allowing you time to take care of your business, farm, and personal lives. We offer financial services, including tax prep, bookkeeping, payroll, and auditing. We offer services to farmers, ranchers, small businesses, and more. By coming to us, you will be able to spend more time at your business and with your families. It's not what you make, it's what you keep. Welcome back to game time here on Next Tech Local One, where 
Our final score here from Hill City, 62 to 14. The home team, Renex, were able to uh, take out the visitor, Trigo Golden Eagles. And Ivan, um, pretty dominating performance for Hill City from the start. Yeah, right from the beginning. And, and uh, you know, um, really, and Atkins put on a show again, oh. as, as we talked about, even just driving mm -hmm. here tonight. Um, but, uh, you know, the thing about it is, is Trigo, they're, they're shorthanded. Yep. You know, talking to Coach yesterday, they're a little shorthanded. Um, and uh, they just can't match up uh, on paper. So, yeah, uh, Caleb Atkins with the uh, <coughs> for the cycle tonight. He ran for a touchdown, had an interception return for a touchdown, caught a touchdown pass, and then had a kickoff return for a touchdown. Yeah, you uh, got the sombrero tonight, yeah. that's for sure. Yeah. So, Jaden Nuss uh, – for the read next, three rushing touchdowns for him. Aiden Amrine, a rushing touchdown and a a throwing touchdown. And Trent Long with the rushing touchdown as well for the ring next. That's the scoring for Hill City. For Trigo, uh, Gunnar Wilson with a touchdown run. Owen Day, a touchdown pass to Nolan Kinnerconnect for their two scores. So 62-14 uh, our, our game here. Let's check out some of the other scores on our Next Tech Game Time scoreboard. Yeah, there we go. Um, and like we said before, Cunningham with the with the win over Natoma in the in the in the rematch of the six man finals, uh, Thunder Ridge uh, ending that game over Rock Hills. Victoria, like we said, pulling away from the cross. Yeah, that's a definite. Oakley, yeah, Maxville over Central Plains. Um, Hoxie all over Wheatland Grinnell. Quinter up big on St. Francis, yeah. And Oakley up two points on uh, Phillipsburg. So, yeah, tough battle there. Boy, I, you know, the MCL there, I don't think there's any any weeks off. No, there's not, that's for sure. Norton and Smith Center, that's a pretty solid game right now, 18-14. to 14. Russell up two scores at halftime, and TMP up 35-0 at halftime. Southeast of Selena Beloit. Uh, Beloit's going to start this year 0 and 2. Yeah, and you wouldn't have guessed that. No. That's the way they were ranked when we were, they were starting. So, <coughs> yeah. So, Goodland and Burlington a little um Rocky Mountain town time zone battle there, 8 to 0. Goodland with the lead. Holyoke all over Colby, Hoisington up three scores on Halstead, Liberal same on top of Emporia. Hayes 33 to 0 at halftime over Great Bend. Boy, Great Bend's got like a 19-20 game losing streak. That's uh Looks Tough. like that's going to continue tonight. Junction City with a two-touchdown lead now over Dodge. And then Garden City, that's got to be a running clock there in the third quarter. I would suspect. I would suspect. <laughs> and how many touchdowns is that? That's nine. <laughs> nine. <laughs> <But>. <laughs> if you learned anything tonight, uh, you're, that's, that's the thing you learned. Well, I'm telling you, you're pretty mathematical. <laughs> that's for sure. Our next tech game time was brought to you this evening by New Age Industrial, Midwest Energy, Rogers & Associates Insurance, Mapes & Miller LLP, the Hayes Rec Commission, and Redeem Design. So thanks for tuning in tonight. Our, like I said, our final score here from Hill City, the Red Neck 62, Trigo 14. You've been watching game time on Next Tech Local 1.